Hi friends, look who I brought to the beginning of stream. Congratulations if you made it this early. I have a baby in my arms. She hates me right now. Uh, <laughs> she's really angry at me. She, uh, we don't have the right wet food right now. It's coming on Tuesday. So she is refusing to eat the correct food. Food. She's so, she's so, she's such a bully, you guys. Um, but Cotton, congrats on being first. Hello, Jax. Thank you so much for hosting. Hello, Tosh. Um, isn't that my favorite streamer, Funa Tuna? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't see that. Um, hello, yes, eccentric. This is my little baby. This is the little foofer. Um. <laughs> I saw that out of context and I was like, whoa, that's inappropriate. And then I realized I was holding a cat. So <laughs> um, anyway, she's protesting stream today. So if you hear her meowing all stream, I will try to feed her again. But we don't have any of the food you like except for one can and it has to last us for the next two days. Love how she doesn't care at all. I love that she has no cares. Hello, Shivy. Yeah, Cotton just sits and chats and stalks me and then uses it against my... <laughs> uses them to blackmail me. I love your hear, by the way. <laughs> thank you, Matt. I love my ability to hear as well. Um, Cotton, thank you so much for giving those shout outs. Um, did we shout out Tosh yet? I didn't, I can't read. Because I'm holding a baby. <laughs> now nah, help Shivy Sus. Listen, Warhammer. Hi, Warhammer. Um, we love we love Shivy. Okay, Shivy is no more of a bully than me. She is purring so loudly, <laughs> but my arm is so tired. <laughs> Wait, Fauna, did you tweet? I did not tweet. Nobody tweeted. Not both mods shouting me out. No, Tosh, I meant that you would get a shout out, not that you had to shout somebody out. <laughs> um, I did not tweet. You know what? No one can come in. This is an exclusive stream only to the people who aren't on the Twitter. Ugh, I should probably tweet. You know what? I am doing a lot and there's a lot of cat hair on me right now. <laughs> we did, um, Cotton Knows All, one day will get you. Yes, literally. Shivy did. Okay, thank you. We got you, Fauna. Discord is in chaos. <laughs> you guys just keep talking, and I'm like, I'm gonna go stream now. Um, behave while I'm gone. <laughs> um, sounds so wrong with the context about the... You guys are crazy. Typos are not safe in our Discord. Um, you will be found and they will never let you forget that you made a typo. Especially if you type the word thing and then you accidentally write O instead of I. People will not let you live it down. Okay. <laughs> Let's gatekeep the Twitter people. <laughs> no, my God. This is this is when, why Pan has an agenda against me is I don't totally, <laughs> okay, fine. Hello, no, hello friends. I just wrote hell for, so that is a, that's a really great <laughs> start to the, <laughs> you know what, I'm not, I'm not doing this. We're not tweeting today. The brain, the brain is not in the right space. I already have a Discord, notifi Discord notification. What are you guys doing? I'm just kidding, I'm not. <laughs> Just like what's going on um you know what we're gonna do we are gonna i'm gonna do a post i'm gonna do a self promo post that is what i'm gonna do and that's what we're gonna be doing and pan is gonna have to <laughs> be okay with it and i think it's great oh my ipad fell asleep so hello everyone welcome to the chaotic stream i hope you're having a great day uh, it's about noonish for me now, so I hope whatever time it is for you is a good time to be awake and watching me. And if it's not, maybe you should go to bed. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. Matt, you literally didn't have to. I'm the one with the power. <laughs> Shivy is a chaotic mod. Let's just get that out of the way. First and foremost, um, Fauna Bully. <laughs> Warhammer, are you trying to fight right now? 
Um, and by people not forgetting typos, you mean shibby. I do specifically mean shibby, yes. I'll tweet for you. No, 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 you do not have to do that, Jax. Um, what are you drawing? We are going to draw the same thing that we drew last week. Uh, we're going to finish it up, and then actually I'm going to probably show you the other stuff I've been working on. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we're, I'm going to try to finish the painting we did last week uh, because it definitely needs some tweaking. I basically haven't worked on it and started a bunch of new projects because I'm Sane, um, cotton getting bullied or tossed. Did someone say to <laughs> egg put a pic of eggs cat in the discord? <gasps> yeah, I'm so excited to check it out. I'm so excited to check it out. Okay, hang on. I'm just going to try to run through this to see if I missed anything. One can for two days. That sounds like me back in high school. <laughs> I have no idea what the reference is to that. Um, yeah, okay. I think I read everything. If I didn't read your message, you know what? <laughs> it's in the ether now. <gasps> Look. <laughs> oh my god, Warhammer. Y'all have beef right now and it is something. Um, Fauna, I tweeted for you. You are so sweet. Thank you, Jax. You really, you really don't have to do that. I am just a mess and I should just, I should reap my own mess i feel like there's another word there usually you say you reap your own rewards but this <laughs> anyways um valentine mau mau yes oh i fixed our zutara command too so for all you zutara stands which is literally me and shibby uh and maybe cotton at this point <laughs> that command now works um okay i'm gonna <laughs> This is so crazy. I hope you guys are having a nice day. This is me trying to rein back in the cozy streamer part of the cozy chaos. Um, a, a, a term that I probably should trademark, but it's probably already trademarked. Um, any <laughs> Look, that's my cat. I thought she was peeing. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing over there? Hi. Oh my God. She's so crazy. I thought that I, I was like literally about to turn around and she would be sitting on the bed urinating on camera. That would be my life. <laughs> um, hi guys. Anyways, here's the painting. So this is where I stopped. I really don't know where we stopped and where I stopped, but I added these like long shadows in on the ground and I need to fix this demon hand that I gave this girl. <laughs> But most of it, I feel like, is already pretty good. I just need to fix the dock uh, and then maybe, like, play with the sky and the water a bit and then we'll be basically good. Um, <laughs> we're getting caught. <laughs> yes, Chevy. yes, for real. Um, okay, what else is, what else is in here? I tagged Fauna in my tweet. You guys are too nice to me. You guys are literally too nice. This is so cute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> you, I'm so happy you like it. I'm gonna put it on dark mode, actually. I am, I honestly had it on light mode just because everybody hates light mode. So I just wanted to like start something with y'all, honestly. Watching Fauna at lowest quality is so disorienting. Wait, why? What's so different about it? Why is it in light mode? This is exactly why I did it, Jax. Um, okay, everyone I've talked to so far is a Zutara stand. That's because they're correct. That's because they're correct. Um, I just, I, I'm not a fan of pacifists. I am a fan of murderers. Someone, Cotton, someone, Cotton, asked me who my favorite protagonists were the other day, and I was just like, uh, Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> Eva? Eva! And Katniss Everdeen is a murderer. And then I said Bella Swan, who is a vampire. And then I said Emmett from the Lego movie, uh, who is probably the most pure character I've ever seen embodied in a Lego. Um, so there's a lot of range in there. Anyways, I wanna show you guys something else too. So I'm working on this, which is gonna be like a park sunset scene. We will probably work on this if I finish the other painting. Um, <laughs> these are my Taylor Swift emotes, but I'm painting these dogs and they're like Sam Samaged dogs, I guess. And I'm so excited. They're Look at the baby. <laughs> I love them. There is no answer, but Zutara is the answer. Your face is like 20 pixels with lowest quality. Well, that's the right way to look at me, Josh. 
<laughs> um, just being honest, everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. You should put a cooldown with the Zutara command. Yeah, it is getting a little bit loud. <laughs> I just want I took it off because I wanted it to work because I couldn't get it to work. So I was like, oh, maybe there's a cooldown. So then I just like deleted the cooldown. Uh, but now it is getting really excited because <laughs> we made Cloudbot Ozutara stand, everybody. Um, Cotton, how far are you in Avatar? Are you like even in? Like, I feel like we're always talking about it and I'm worried you're going to get it spoiled. I'm putting a 30 second cooldown on Zutara. Okay, everybody. Everybody got that? <laughs> um, hello, IBS Club. Welcome in. Zutara as in Zuko and Katara. Yes. Um, but everybody be relatively spoiler free because some people in here at Valentine get off. Hey. Hi. No, no jumping on the counter. Hey, baby. Um, because some people haven't finished Avatar. So no big, crazy big spoilers. <laughs> I want one. It's my favorite breed. Warren, this is your favorite. I'm here. Get off. Bestie, bestie, no. This is your favorite breed of dog. Oh my God. I, I like corgis more, but these dogs are so cute. I had to paint. I saw one the other day in the park and then I did take a picture of the guy with his dog in the, in the park. So look at, look at her trying to leave. <laughs> I don't feel like fighting today, but no. Um, It's been 50 years. I still reject Kaang. I feel you there. I feel you there. IBS club. It's a whole mood. My cat's really angry that I didn't let her eat the um, breadcrumbs on the counter. So Matt, we can't be friends. Oh my God. <laughs> they always look like they're smiling. I know. That's my favorite part. Like, look at this. This is the happiest face on a dog you've ever seen. That's all I have to say to that. <laughs> So anyways, that is what we're working on today. Um, well, I mean, that's what I've been working on. This sketch over here is not going to make any sense to anybody because I cannot do three point perspective, but I wanted like a top down view of something and you're just going to have to be patient while my brain figures out how to paint that. <laughs> 19 episodes. That's pretty good. It gets better. Like literally the show is just like only goes up. I swear to God. So if you, if you make it through season one, it just gets better. I think it is one of those shows that's better in rewatch because once you've watched the whole story, it's just so like deep and good. Like it's so good. Um, Matt might be, Matt might be the one and only Katang shipper that I respect. I disagree, but I respect because Matt is nice. I am not Katang. What? Oh my god, you guys are so funny. Hi Val. Yeah, I think his club says hi. He looked at me and then said, are you gonna feed me? And I looked away. <laughs> um, but I hope you're having a nice day. It's it's really hot, warm where I am. I think it's gonna be in the like 80s. So it's not like that bad, but it it's kind of a lot for me. Um Katara should stay single and Zuko. <laughs> Oh my god, who is the goth character? You will not have met the goth character yet, Cotton. That comes in like season two. Um, so you're you're probably pretty close, but you have not met goth character. <laughs> May, right? Yes, yes, it is May. I can't rewatch without crying in every episode. So I am at the point in my rewatch of Avatar where they are in the very sandy area and they lose a friend. And and eventually there's an episode only about that said friend um and that episode is very emotionally painful for me because you can hurt people all you want but if you hurt any animal anywhere in anything um like the fox and the hound i'll cry when the fox separates from the mom um i can't i can't watch that so i will be skipping an episode coming up because i don't think i can ever watch that episode ever again um, and if you know, you know. And if you don't, buckle in, I guess. And it was Shark Tunes. <laughs> oh my god. Um, very strong independent woman who doesn't need Zuko. You'll meet in season two. She's badass. I like Tylee a lot, honestly. Tylee gives me good vibes. Um, I think there's only one film I've cried to. <laughs> was it Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> Warhammer? Um, it's not like May saved Zuko at prison while Katara slept. Oh my god. Not the Katara hate. Um, also, she has a girlfriend who is bubbly pink personality. It's amazing. I'm eating breadsticks now. Jax, no. 
Share with the class, bestie. <laughs> oh, I forgot to reset the bestie counter. Keep canvas still. No moving around. Well, there goes the plan I was just about to work on. Thanks, Jax. Um, reset bestie. There we go. Bestie counter's been reset. I've not been remembering to do that. Um, also has a key idea of blah, 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 poor tough. <laughs> The prison episode is so important. It is, but we can't spoil. Do you read the comics? I have not read the comics, IVS Club. I'm not like a big comics human person. Um, okay, I can't even see. I'm going back to light mode because you're not letting me move the canvas. This is your funeral, Jax. Um, I have to see what's on these layers. And I can't see because I have... I can't move the canvas. Um, and that was about this minute. So I think I read that pretty much on time. Tiny vibe. My friend called her tiny. I mean... <laughs> the other day, one of my friends was calling Sokka, like, Suka or something. And I was like, do you mean to say Sokka? And they were like, the Zuka guy. And I was like, the who? I'm a May Lee shipper. I totally get that. The comics don't exist. I just don't read comics for anything. Like, I'm just not a comics reader. <gasps> um, no Infinity War when the Guardians got snapped. Oh my god. When when Peter Parker got snapped and he's just like, Mr. Stark, I don't feel too good. I just was like ready to just pass away. I was literally ready to pass away. There are no comics in Bossing Say. They all run the character arcs. I hate it. There are some decent things, but overall bad. R.A.P. Fauna. Are they <laughs> May Lee's canon. I just want to know whatever happens to Zuko's mom. Someone spoil it for me. Um. <laughs> no, I can't. It wasn't even you. Like, literally another friend was literally saying, like, oh, yeah, you know, that Zuka, the Zuka guy, like, just took Zuko's name and Sokka's name and just mixed them into one. And I was like, are you talking about Sokka or S <laughs> or Zuko? And then they were like, yeah, Sokka. And I was like, you've literally been saying Suka this whole, I'm like, who is Suka? <laughs> Don't do it because of Cotton. Yeah, IBS Club. Um, Cotton hasn't watched it, so we cannot do those big spoilers right now. But if someone wants to talk about it in Discord, you can all be in the Discord, and then we can like tag spoilers and stuff. Um, but I that is a big enough spoiler that I wouldn't want someone who hasn't seen the show yet to know about it. Um, so because of that, I will just let you guys know that this is so hard to do. All I do in this world is move the canvas <laughs> like that's like the number one thing that you do that is like the normal i'm literally stopping myself from doing it like every second i go to touch it i'm just like oh move inch zoom and then like nope can't do that <laughs> um it's funny that mr stark also, also dies <laughs> oh my god don't even, don't even get me started on that movie <laughs> I actually really like it. I don't know why I'm acting like I have such a big problem with it. Um, he felt it coming because of his spidey sense, and now I'm sad remembering it. Wait, that's why? I didn't know it was- <laughs> I didn't know it was because of the spidey sense. Oh my god, you guys, I'm ready. <laughs> I really like Peter Parker. <gasps> okay, I'm fine. Fauna is fine. <laughs> I am like gonna cry on stream. <laughs> Why did I bring this up? Um, are you gonna watch the live action show though? Of Avatar? What are you guys gonna do? I think I'll watch it. And if it sucks, I'll stop watching it. Like I'm gonna give it a chance, I think. But I'm not gonna... I'm not really expecting it much, which is sad to say, but if it's good, I'll just be pleasantly surprised. And then if it sucks, um, it sucks. <laughs> and I will be like medium feeling about it. A cry stream. <laughs> I'll just be crying about Peter Parker. That's not like a very um, emotional arc for y'all. I literally cannot do this. This is impossible. I'm just like, <laughs> I, you know what, Fauna? You can do this. You can you can do it. Um, it's kind of dumb that I put the dock and the shadow on the same layer. I probably could have fixed that. Um, I can cry. <laughs> Shivy, are you into any of the Marvel stuff? You haven't watched like any of it, right? 
Crying is healthy. It is healthy, you guys. I actually get mad at people who tell me not to cry. They're like, stop crying. I'm like, no. I will cry for as long as I want. But the best part about crying all the time, I'm actually, I'm not a movie crier, but I will cry in real life a lot if you're mean to me in any capacity. Um, and <laughs> the best part about, about it is that everyone is so horribly uncomfortable. Um, and it's like, maybe you shouldn't be a jerk because like I used to be a waitress and so people would be really mean to me. Like they would start screaming at me. They would tell me that I was doing a bad job like to my face and, but like, like in a mean way, like being like, we were just trying to help you, but you actually are like doing, you're just terrible. Do you even know the difference between a hash brown and hash and eggs? And like, they would just be so mean. And so one time I like cried at this table and then they were like, oh my God. <laughs> It makes people so uncomfortable. And it's like, yeah, maybe you should be less of a, of a mean person. Um, so yeah, I mean, is it awkward? Yes. Do I recommend it? No. But does it kind of work? Yes. <laughs> you missed two of my messages. Jax, what ones? I read, moving the Canva around is the best tool ever to exist. Well, I did miss that. And the only other one I see is R.I.P. Fauna. And I definitely read that. So I, I at least read it in my head. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's really convenient. I mean, I could just move the iPad, but it's like, it doesn't have the same effect, you know? Um, I cry a lot. <laughs> OMG Fauna, screw them. <laughs> That's so mean, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's fine. I mean, I got better at it. I got better at not crying, but like, it's, it's funny because people will be really mean to you, but then as soon as you're upset that they're really mean to you, they're like completely different. They're like, oh my God, stop crying. Like, I didn't mean it. Like they completely change their tone, but it's completely ridiculous that you have to like be, you have to, you have to just like show emotion and people are like, oh my God, don't ever do that again. <laughs> Oh, Jax, thank you for the hug. Why are people so rude? Oh, it's fine, you guys. Murmur! Fauna is on. Yes, hello, Murmur. Yes, thank you for the shout out. Making them uncomfortable, you're so powerful. Oh my god, IBS Club. I have so many stories of me just like... <laughs> I also used to work in an office and the job was just really stressful. So I cried a lot because I thought I was terrible at the job. Um, as, as one does. <laughs> They became such a thing that one of my managers would like peek in to see if we were crying because if we were crying, he would just leave. He was like, I don't want to, <laughs> like, I don't want to be a part of it. It was honestly hilarious. Um, I said, I feel evil. Oh, I did read that one too. Maybe I didn't read that one out loud. You are. <laughs> Jacks. Just kidding though. Um, so sorry for not shouting out. Shivy, Shivy. Everyone tell Shivy to stop apologizing. <laughs> Shivy and never has never done anything wrong. I mean, maybe maybe that's like dramatic, but um, never done anything wrong is a mod. <laughs> For absolute sure, exactly. How about you care about others before you make them sad? Yes, Cotton. It's like they just want to yell at you and expect you to be a robot. And then if you're not a robot, then they're like they're like, it's like they're like woken up. You know, it's like oh God, I'm talking to a person. <laughs> Do tell, please. OMG, I guess club. It's crazy. It's so funny. But like, it, it's also crazy because I'm not like, I'm not like crying on purpose. Like I'm literally, <laughs> you know, like I'm, I'm actually sad. Like I'm not like just sitting around plotting, crying as like some business tactic. I promise. <laughs> oh, thanks to you for the breathe, Jax. I've done everything. Murmur. <laughs> murmur what does that mean also um that it, it's been eight minutes god it's brutal out here it is brutal out here shivy i'm gonna move the canvas now that it's been eight minutes i know that i was a little distracted so i went a little bit longer um i don't always do that but i felt like i had been pretty distracted this time so um i'm gonna erase a lot of this shadow I think because a lot of it should be like this is the dock it shouldn't be the shadow should be the shadow and then the dock should be the dock that's the whole point of having layers fauna uh fauna never paints on the correct layer if you're new here uh, and i'm gonna put dark mode back on now that i can move things <laughs> i'm rude as shit and chaotic as heck murmur that's awesome i love that about you <laughs> Shivy is an angel. Shivy did the bully. Only in like a... <laughs> in like a... In like a... 
what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um, well-meaning way, I guess, is kind of what I'm going for. That's why I try to be nice to others. See, the saltine crackers one. I love that. Um, thank you for the lair check. I think we're good. I just moved lair, so... <laughs> I'm a little bit of a mess with my layers, but it's fine. Um, so there's like a big box under this, so I'm just gonna put the box here. Um, which is like an interesting... Actually, it's a little too high. Uh, well, you know what, YOLO. YOLO guy. I told you guys that the dock needed a lot of work. <laughs> Uh, I was not kidding. Also, I don't think these lines are straight. So shout out to my not straight lines that I'm always doing incorrectly. Oh my god, they're not. <laughs> Did you just say you love that I'm rude and chaotic? Well, yeah, at least the chaos. But I'm not, I guess I've never known you to be rude to me. So if you mean like that you think you're rude here, then I, then I don't think that. But... but <laughs> Um, it was out of affection. We love that for you, Murmur. Yeah, exactly. Um, NASA Muffin, hello. <laughs> um, thank you for the lurk. I have a cat. Oh, shit, I'm allergic. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. It's a hairless cat. Unless you're, unless, like, I guess you could still be allergic to a hairless cat. Um, it's a magical hairless cat. <laughs> I rearranged my servers and I moved Funnas up. Oh my god, that's so sweet, Jax. It's the lurk message, Warhammer. That's what they're talking about. Uh, if no one, if no one got me, I know Fauna got me. I want to live in your artwork so bad. Ideas Club. Oh my god, thank you so much. You're so sweet. I am. Um... <laughs> that is like the exact vibes that I want. Like, like no cap. That is literally exactly what i want people to feel um so i'm really happy to hear that because that's kind of the whole point of my art most of the time i just like a lot of artists have different things that they want you to get from their art and for me it's just like i want you to feel so like at peace and like relaxed in it that you're like i want to live there so like that is like the highest goal the highest praise i could get so thank you um <laughs> Because I'm most active in Fauna's server. Yeah, none of us ever shut up. It's fine. I mean, I never shut up. That's why it all works out. Um, oh my god, thank you for the shout out, Cotton. I'm like not thinking. <laughs> Having mods is really very good for the Fauna, for the Fauna bird brain. The Fauna bird brain was really not, uh, was not keeping up with the times. <laughs> also, this dock is so messy. I need to fix it. Hang on, we're going back. Oh my gosh. Um, what else were we talking about? Oh yeah, I was crying about Spider-Man. That was really like the the crux. <laughs> um, okay, if we're thinking about perspective, how do we feel about this? So the dock should go down here. Um, so this is like a bar leading the dock, and then this is like a platform holding it up. That should be straight up and down and is kind of. I think that it just needs to end sooner. So like if I if I end it here, maybe it will look a little bit more in perspective. This is Fauna trying to do perspective. Um, usually it, it's just sort of whatever I feel like doing. <laughs> And I, uh, I pray on the rest. You know what? We just, we live, laugh, love, YOLO. That's what we do here. That looks better. I don't hate it. Fauna Burb Brain is underrated. <laughs> is it really? Um, wait, did I miss anything else? That's why I try to be nice to others. I love the saltine cracker compliment. I'm sorry that it doesn't make sense to anybody else. <laughs> OMG, this reminds me of a scene of Before Sunrise for what art is and what art should achieve. Cotton, am I gonna love this movie? I am so- so Cotton has been trying to get me to watch- everybody has been trying- 
Cotton has been trying to get like anybody who will listen to watch these like before sunrise af- after I don't honestly don't know the names but I, every I just I'm not if it's emotional about art I'm not prepared that's all I have to say my phone is dying so I'll BRB have a good BRB Warhammer uh, I was gonna make some more fauna art but I and cotton art but I forgot oh my god tracks don't exactly what cotton said like you take your time you do what you gotta do we're always gonna be around um never any there's not like a time limit for that kind of stuff obviously um okay so that's like a little bit more realistic it's not perfect but it's better i'm just gonna put the rest of the box in making three-dimensional shapes wouldn't you know is actually difficult i'm half asleep and slightly lurky so i'm sorry about that shivy we talked about this nobody ever has to apologize for being lurky i love the lurkers um, I've always wanted to watch Before Sunrise. I want that type of love. <laughs> Con is nicer than my cat Valentine. <laughs> I have a problem because in another lifetime, trope is my favorite. Oh my god. I don't even know what my favorite trope is. I really don't. I, I end up not really seeing the own patterns that I like personally until somebody points out. And then, like, they're right. Um, like, Pam Pam was telling me that my type is, like, girl next door. And I was like, really? And now that I think about it, she was, she was, she's pretty on point, actually. <laughs> Me and Shivy are literally the same person. <laughs> we really are, and I love that for us. Cotton and Shivy besties era. I am just happy about <laughs> not me getting tricked into saying besties. Um, you have to do bestie plus that's what you have to do because bestie will show you how many times i've said it and bestie plus will add a bestie it is a little bit different than pan's command so i know that it is like a little confusing but you can't reset pan's command so i have mine set up so that like they're resettable so that's why they're a little different um okay perspective perspective i can do i can't do that oh. where is the <laughs> We're gonna, I'm gonna put the drawing guide back on. Oh God, I always push alpha lock and it's never alpha lock. Also you guys, for anyone who uses Procreate, I have this like startling revelation. So like say you were erasing and you wanted like a hard lines brush and you were erasing it that way. And, but I'm painting with this brush called Cushy. Um, so maybe I wanna erase with the same brush that I'm painting. If you hold the eraser, you can erase with your current brush. So your eraser, your eraser tool will literally switch to the brush you're using and then you can erase using the brush that you have on. It's super cool. I, I just found it out watching a YouTube video and I had no idea you could do it and it's really helpful. Oh, I told someone I liked, I've already resigned myself to an in the lifetime trope and they didn't know I was. it was about them. <laughs> Shibby, no! There's no way I'm cooler than ice cream. Thank you, Shibby. Tr be the gay ice cream. I'm sorry, why do we- why is the ice cream gay? I mean, not to hate. Oh, <laughs> the rainbow sprinkles! You just hold it, right? Exactly. As so many de little details that you can easily forget. Yeah, I had no idea! You can do the same thing with your selection tool. If you hold the selection tool, it will select the last thing that you selected. Um, and also, if you like double, double, double tap on a layer, it will affect the opacity. And if you slide with two fingers, I think you will turn on alpha lock. I, I'm like, I can't believe I've lived my whole life not knowing these things. That's all I have to say is I was really annoyed. <laughs> I thought it was rude that I did not know that these things were things. Um... And I was very upset to learn them because I could have known them the whole time, but no. Oh, also, I think this is why the perspective is off because it should be going up. See, this is why you use perspective guides, besties. Um, what? Yes, Cotton, thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, the hold eraser. I'm gonna have a whole section of clips that are just procreate baby tutorial. <laughs> No, Shivy, you have to do, you just say this with a plus. Um, this is the third time, which I still have not renamed, so the grammar is hilariously bad. <laughs> um, 
I think those were the biggest things that I found out. Um, another like fun tidbit though is if you're in the color wheel and you want it to be bigger, you can take two fingers and pinch it open and you'll literally get a big color wheel of whatever color you're on. And if you double tap, it will take you like, I don't know why this is helpful, but it will take you to like the purest like edges basically. And if you double tap in the middle, it will take you right into the middle. Um, <laughs> It's so cool. Like I just, there's just stuff in here I didn't even know you could do. And I've literally been using this app since like for like three years. Um, so sometimes I think I just need to start like reading the Procreate guide or something, honestly, because it has proved, it's proved to be so helpful and it's really annoying. I get really annoyed when people help me. It's just one of my, you know, super fun character traits uh, because it makes me mad that I didn't already know something usually. Obviously, I'm not mean to these people or whatever. I just, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, that's rude. <laughs> I knew about the double tap and it's so helpful for selecting whites and black. Oh yeah, there's like it, another thing that you can do. I never do it, but like, depending on how you have your gestures shut up you can like take three fingers and like swipe and then it will clear your whole layer um and then yeah there's another one there's something else where you can like select specifically everything on a layer so like if you're on a layer or something you can like oh man i don't remember how they did it but you can like not with using like the automatic and then just selecting everything like there's a way to specifically just be like select everything on this layer and it will do it. Maybe it was like, um, select. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. But yeah, you can do all sorts of stuff. I just never do it. I just, stuff I never do. Um, but yeah, sorry to go into like procreate, um, distractions. But I found them out the other day watching a YouTube video. Um, and I was mad that I didn't. At the very least, I was mad. I was mostly mad about the previous selection tool. Um, and, uh, and holding the eraser. You can do it with like everything. So like if you hold the color thing, you can like change to your last color. Um, but I did know that one. No, sorry. <laughs> three fingers brings up copy, paste, and cut. Yeah, so my three fingers drag down does that. But there's like another thing where you can do where if you like shake a layer or something, you can like, you like erase it or something. I don't remember. <laughs> But you, if you ever need that, I I don't often clear my whole layer, so I don't use it very much. I just, I'm a, I'm a deleter. Um, Fauna Educational. Shivy. Shivy. Um, yeah, that's Professor Fauna to you guys. <laughs> um, you guys, I've been playing so much Genshin and Ace Attorney all week. It is absolutely disgusting. I like, as soon as stream ended, I ate lunch and then I sat my butt down. And I literally played Ace Attorney for a really long time <laughs> until I finished case three. And then I played Genshin until bed. And I also watched some of Stranger, Stranger Things. So I was a very busy little fauna. Um, just so busy, just so, so, so busy, you know, doing all that important work, work stuff that faunas do. Am I on the wrong there? <laughs> SOS. I'm just gonna get rid of that, whatever that was. Um, I like having drawing assist on, but sometimes it's annoying because, like, it makes your lines look too perfect sometimes, you know? Um, so this should probably go out further. Oops. But sometimes it's helpful if your perspective is really off, like mine was. Um, for Procreate, I love art with Flo on YouTube. She's incredible. Oh my god, I will have to check that out. I'm gonna save that. <laughs> Please save. Oh my god, IBS Club. Thank you. I will save. Um, Procreate is kind of like autosaver, so it's it basically is saved. <laughs> I don't have as much of a problem when you're like in um, Photoshop or something. And if you don't save, it just like dies. That's the worst. Um, okay, I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put this down. What else is going on? I should probably breathe. Someone redeemed breathe a while ago, so I should continue to honor it. <laughs> 
but it feels like there's something in my eye. <laughs> oh my god. Literally life, though. Also, my phone buzzed, so I feel like that means a friendy friend has said something. Um, Fauna forgot to mention she's arting on Twitter. <laughs> Jax is too sweet. I cannot believe you guys. You're all just like hyping me up right now. Um, and also, this is unrelated, but my favorite Pokemon is Ampharos. Um, it's like a yellow cutie pie. I really don't know how to explain what Ampharos looks like. Um, maybe like a kangaroo, but it's bright yellow. And at the end of the tail, there's like a little ball of electricity. And then the ears are just kind of like like cuter taller ears they're not like floppier they're like they're more like cones um that's the closest we're gonna get and it doesn't have like a pouch um but anyways one of my someone that's so kim actually literally tweeted um a shiny ampharos plush and i can't stop thinking about it <laughs> um so that's a thing uh, one feature I wish they had was to undo even after you go on other canvases. I know, but it doesn't, like, save the, um, what was I gonna say? It doesn't, like, save, once you, like, leave the canvas and come back, it, like, clears your history. Um, but I actually know some people who like that feature because they will undo and undo and undo and they'll, like, sit around and be like, oh my god, I'm so tired of undoing all the time. And so they will actually purposefully exit their canvas so that they can't they can do anymore and they just have to go with it so some people use it as a tactic uh which i think is really cool but i tried it and i hated it so i've never done it <laughs> it didn't work for me besties uh mostly because i'm obsessed with my own erasing <sighs> okay wait where's the shadow maybe i need to i'm putting like <laughs> lol i'm putting light mode back on no one hate me Illy, Illy. Okay, this is dramatic. For what? Do you guys remember that song that goes "Turn Down for What"? I actually really liked that song. And looking back on it, why? <laughs> like, what was there to um to to like think about that song? Um, I'm so sorry that that happened, Jax. Um, like a giraffe dog kangaroo mix. Yeah, kind of. I really don't know how to explain the snout. Um, but Ampharos is really cute. Hi. Hi. Hello. Honey, honey, we're very busy right now. Hi. 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 Go take a nap. Um, I'm used to it. I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have to be used to it, um, Jax. Uh, when they were making it, it was so special to watch. Like, obviously, I knew Kim was talented, but there's something so special about watching people make things. I wish I could have watched that real time because I... Oh my god, that Ampharos, that stuffed shiny Ampharos is so cute. A shiny Ampharos is pink, by the way, which is a superior shiny color, if you ask me. Um... And I am just obsessed. Like, Ampharos is literally my favorite Pokemon. Um, Shivy is like sunshine on a rainy day. That is true. That's actually the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Thank you, Stream Elements. <laughs> Shout out to Stream Elements for being nice. Um, thanks for interrupting Stream, Bestie. Thank you. Are you gonna go take a nap now, Bestie? Hi, Bestie. Her new name is gonna be Bestie. I've renamed Valentine Bestie. Hi. Now that I say bestie all the time, though, she does come over when I say bestie. Hello, bestie. What? She is obsessed with me. I get compared to mashed potatoes. Cotton, I do not want to hear the mashed potato slander on this channel. <laughs> not the bestie plus three. Hi. Guys, my cat's so demanding. How am I supposed to get work done when she just sits here? Cotton is better than saltine crackers. I don't want to hear any saltine cracker slander either, you guys. Um, saltines are just not the mood. Hi. Okay, are you going to stay over there while I paint? Because that would be really convenient for me right now. Say yes, Fauna. Okay, whatever. She doesn't care about me. <laughs> 
I am trying to finish this frickin' painting. Okay, we can do it. Can we fix it? Yeah, it's like a Bob the Builder thing. Um, and I'm starting to think it should be like an incorporated part of these streams. Okay, so now we have a dock that looks like a dock. I am pretty excited about this, you guys. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Okay, so now this is gonna be the shadow. Because I, I can do the thing. I can do stuff. I can do the thing basket goalie. Um, sorry, that is not a joke anyone is gonna understand. <laughs> There is this, like, joke that, um, okay, this color is too bright. There's a, um, Philip DeFranco at one point has, like, a merch line, and one of the shirts that he made just says, go sports, and, like, they're, one of the things that he always says with it is, woohoo, go sports, score the goalie basket touchdown thing and like it's just funny because it's like obviously mocking sports that you don't know anything about them so you just say go my favorite sports team um fact stream elements <laughs> this one is also cute yes we can yes cotton right exactly um fabulous fauna is more awesome than a baked potato i mean like who says no to baked potatoes i could i could eat a baked potato right now on stream um that's me with sports exactly shibby it's like literally so funny i actually want to like look it up <laughs> score the basket goal i'm just gonna look it up because i i know i'm saying it wrong <laughs> um i guess i should write his whole name um I guess that the uh, the Google doesn't want to tell me, but it, it's something like that. <laughs> I miss his videos. Yeah, I know. I was never like a really, really into him because um, one of my friends had actually introduced me to him and I just like have a hard time watching new stuff sometimes, but like I would always watch them when I was hanging out with that friend because that friend was always watching them. And and um is that same friend is now like upset because like philip does not post the same content as he used to and you know people who really like his stuff are upset about that understandably and fauna has no idea what she's doing right now so hello <laughs> um everything is awesome everything is cool when you're part of a team okay i'm gonna duplicate this casually cruel I'm gonna get rid of, just kidding, just kidding. I'm, oh my God. I love automatic, but then I always forget I have it on and it's so annoying to turn off. Okay, I'm getting rid of this. And then we're gonna take this. We're going to flip it, not that way. Um, And I guess we're gonna distort it because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we have somewhat of a reflection that I'm cheating in to the system. Thank you, everyone who supports me cheating the system. Phil Lair, take this off. I mean, it's not terrible. It's a little... <sighs> it's too symmetrical. Sorry, I'm kind of crazy today. It's fine though. I think everything is fine. Um, oh my god, what what did I miss? Um, score a basket touchdown thing. Exactly, IBS club. It's like when Michael is trying to get Janet to say more funny stuff or whatever, and she says, How many touchdowns are in a homer? <laughs> they um at one point start reprogramming. This isn't really a spoiler. They just start like reprogramming Janet, and he tries to make Janet like be more hip and funnier and cooler, and then she just goes like insane like at one point he was like i tried to make her more friendly but she seems to have slipped into overt sexuality <laughs> because they like asked janet for something and she was like mm, i can help you with that big bowl <laughs> like she's just so off like she's crazy uh if shivy was a fruit you'd be a fine apple i could be wrong about the quote but i think fauna will get it i am gay and fruity <laughs> so casually cruel in the name of being honest i'm a crumbled up 
sorry um we love fruity people i too am fruity i think that's very girl boss of you personally <laughs> i don't get the reference but same <laughs> i guess you guys are just like living in chaos and it's really all my fault but i'm here for it i'm here for it um how many footballs are in a home run i think like 30 footballs i think you need like 30 footballs to get a home run shibby um does that sound about right to the sports people <laughs> I can just like feel anger. Um, so this should be racing since I'm erasing it. Oh shit, it's on this layer. Well, I guess it I guess it should be. I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut it off anyways. My biggest issue with the undo is that sometimes I'll accidentally do something in between what I'm undoing and then I can't undo the thing that I wanted to undo, which can be really inconvenient sometimes. Um, but otherwise, it's not too big of a deal. Um, okay, that's a thing. That's a thing that I've done. Jane and flirting with Chidi was so funny. I literally can't think straight in every sense. That was a Janet quote, I'm pretty sure. Imagine thinking straight. Imagine drawing a single straight line in your entire painting. Imagine that. Um, okay, I'm gonna work on this couple. This is like the boring part of the illustration, so I'm sorry, but you know what? You've gotta do the boring stuff to get to the good stuff. <laughs> I don't make the rules, I just follow them. I'm gonna make this darker, because this hand stands out way too much. Like, you should barely be able to see it, honestly. <laughs> like, everything about it is just too noticeable. I don't want even you, I really don't want you to look at it. So I really need to make it less interesting because right now, of course, you're gonna look at it because it like stands out a lot. Um, only two episodes away then. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so this isn't gonna make sense to you, Cotton, because it's out of context, but one of my favorite bits from the show is the cactus bit. Um, so you're just gonna have to wait for that to happen. Um, but one of my absolutely favorite parts of that show is when they're joking around and um, basically cactuses keep appearing. It's, it's hilarious. It's 10 out of 10. The Good Place is such a good show. <laughs> Fauna, I love your bongo emote so much. I wish I could draw my my sona my sona so that I could make a Jack's bongo. A Jack's bongo? Oh my god, that sounds so cool. You it, you know what? If you work on it, I bet you could do it. At least I think that's what <laughs> I think that's an appropriate thing to say based on this message, but I don't know. I think I'm interpreting Sona correctly, but if I'm not, then just let me know. <laughs> Um, I love that Shivy literally knows every, like, episode number for everything. Like, Shivy will just be like, I believe that's in season one, episode nine. <laughs> and, like, like, Bestie, how do you know? Bestie, how do you remember that? <laughs> I can barely keep, like, separate seasons apart in my head. Um, I told you, it's my favorite show. I have a problem. <laughs> Um, Shivy, who do you ship Tahani with? <laughs> who is your, like, ultimate ship for Tahani? Sona is, like, my character. Okay, that's what I thought. But I was, like, worried that I was wrong. So then I was, like, maybe... Maybe I should... <laughs> I like to overthink things, okay? Just don't... Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Uh, I'm gonna make this thinner... You guys would think that no one would ever notice these details, and you're kind of right, but someone out there is gonna notice that I added this line on the other end of the dock. Someone somewhere is gonna notice that this is a shade lighter than this, and you know what? That's who I'm doing it for. That's all that matters, is that someone somewhere noticed it. And is that unhinged? Quite possibly, but it is what it is and i need to draw the perspective thing again because i'm drawing everything out of perspective it's so easy to draw things not in perspective that it's kind of annoying <laughs> if i'm being like truly honest because i always like think that I, you think like i've been drawing and painting for like a long time so like at some point i would just assume that it starts getting easier and then i don't mess it up as much but it doesn't 
it doesn't happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm gonna turn it off so I don't have to look at it. Um, I think that this side of the box is supposed to be darker than the back side, so I'm gonna like slightly make this a little bit darker. I know that that's, again, I know it's not very noticeable, but it's important to me. Also, apparently the thing does not want to, does not want to fill that in, so I'm just going to do it myself. Um, me, my character. I love that, Jax. It's so cute. Um, hang on, I have to hold my nose. <laughs> The only show I could do that with was Friends when I was younger. Oh my god, I really don't think I've... I think I used to be able to do it with Parks and Rec, but not not like a lot, just like some. Um, I used to be able to say all the titles of the Good Place episodes in order in one go. Shivy, that's so unhinged and I love that for you. Wait, The Good Place is your fave show as well. Cotton, you don't understand. The Good Place is so... Oops back <laughs> the good place is so good it is honestly like <laughs> you wouldn't have thought that a comedy show about the afterlife and ethical dilemmas would be at all entertaining but it is actually the best thing um, also, you guys might not notice anything different about me, um, but there is something different. And <laughs> I told you that you probably wouldn't recognize it, but I did change. Um, you guys, I have new glasses. Um, these are my new glasses. They look almost identical to my old glasses, but they're actually a little different. Um, which is weird because I thought I bought the same pair, but these are my old ones. And like, you can ever so slightly see the old ones were like a darker pink. <laughs> and these ones are like way more clear. Um, also I think the ones that I have are like bigger by a little bit. Um, because God knows why, but I got new glasses guys. And then I walked outside the other day and I was like, whoa, the earth is seeable again which is always annoying i told you guys i get annoyed when people make my life easier <laughs> because it means that the whole time i was not living my life easier pre that time that's what annoys me about it um just that i was living in my own pain for literally no reason <laughs> um okay wow i missed shivy shivy has a lot to say um, Jack says that's my character. Okay, that's what I thought about. But I wasn't sure if I was right, so. <laughs> I can also tell you scenes from specific episodes, number and title from New Girl and Parks too. Okay, Shivy, tell me when um, Leslie Nope talks about the sunflower mural. When is that? <laughs> Jake, my beloved, best show ever. Jake Peralta, oh wait, wrong show. Johnson, I think he's Nick. Wait, who are we talking? Cotton and I are seriously the same person. Who the heck is Jake Johnson? Ultimate Dill. <laughs> Shivy! You guys, Shivy is right. I actually just watched that episode, so that's how I know. But Shivy is fully correct. Um, and I love that. And it's so cute because at the end, her and Ben are just like, do you want to go sit by the, by the, by the sunflower mural? And she's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait oh my oh wait jake johnson is nick from new girl oh that nick i was so confused then what was the jake we were talking about <laughs> wait what were we oh jake I, i'm confused i'm gonna stop talking fauna has no idea what fauna is saying um nick from new girl my favorite place who wants to be the nick to my jess i will be the nick to your jess but i'm not a nick i am a jess 100 percent, or i'm a smith i feel like i'm schmidt so often because i am insane i am insane the other day 
<laughs> I was, I, I'm insane. That's all I have to say. I notice everything. I think about everything. It makes me crazy. <laughs> Oh, she should be. It's amazing. I was referencing Jake Peralta. Oh, okay. But who is Cotton talking about? <laughs> I do love me a good Jake Peralta, if I'm being honest. I'm also insane. I look like Jess, too. You just gotta get like the big glasses, and like Jess has like huge eyes. Like she's super scary. Um, okay, people came here to watch me paint, and then I didn't paint. So that happened. <laughs> I'm gonna keep painting, guys. Friendios, buddy, pals. Um, okay, so what am I thinking about this? I don't want her arm to feel really like weirdly low. So I need to raise it up a bit. Very casual. Casually cruel. In the name of being honest, I'm just a crumbled up piece of paper lying here. I remember it all too well. It's fine. Um, oh, it goes up too high. I think that's the other issue. I'm gonna take this. Just between us did the love affair main you. Guys, that song is really iconic. I'm sorry, but if you don't know the 10 minute version of All Too Well, you should probably just stop listening to me and go <laughs> and go listen to that instead. Um uh, shout out to Taylor Swift. <laughs> um, Jake Johnson, the actor who plays Nick from New Girl. Oh, oh my God. I literally Googled Jake Johnson and then still thought that it was not that Jake. You guys, I think I should have finished my lunch. I actually didn't finish eating my lunch because I didn't feel hungry. <laughs> but maybe in retrospect, was I hungry? But I also ate tiramisu at 10 a.m. Uh, shout out to me for being insane. <laughs> um, Jake Johnson as well, not gonna lie, besties. I mentioned because he plays Spider-Man. Oh my god. You know what the best part is? Is that he makes a really, really, really good Spider-Man. Like, that is just- it was so good. It was so on point. And I, like, watched Into the Spider-Verse before I even knew what was what and up was down and whatever. But, god, it was so good. Shout out to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Only Swifties know all too well 10 minute version, Taylor's version, sad girl. Um, I always trip once we get to the sad girl part. Sad girl autumn version recorded at Long Pond Studios. What? Jake Johnson Dilf. He's so hot for what? Um, I actually was very attracted to him for a while and now I think I've moved on from that phase, which is very good for me emotionally. <laughs> um... Uh, that's all I have to say on that is that it is very good for me emotionally to have moved on from that chapter of my life. <laughs> I'm so dramatic and literally for what? Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's finish that. I need to like finish this couple so I can stop staring at them because at this point, like how long have I been looking at this guy? Like... <laughs> Um, okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna give you a sweater, um, and then the girl has, I mean, she has her hand around him, so, like, what can I say? I think I also need to give them, like, some shading. Just, like, light shading, you know, nothing crazy. That was crazy, never mind. <laughs> I was like, just some light shading, and then I proceeded to add very drastic shading. Did my music- no, the music's here. It's fine. I am had the music stop on us a couple of times lately, so now I'm just like really, really um, sensitive to maybe that it stopped whenever I don't hear it. <laughs> I have not moved on. I want a Nick Miller. Okay, my problem with Nick Miller is that he is a mess, and in a way where it's like, dude, what? <laughs> like his box of bills? That's unhinged. Um, he's unhinged. He's too much. He's too much. <laughs> uh, I kind of just and I want Nick. Who's gonna do it? I can Jess and I want a Nick. Does that mean I am a Jess? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna be protecting that ship onto a. Cr I'm gonna be projecting the ship onto a crush. 
See, that's fair. Anyways, I know, but he has, he becomes less of a mess. It's fair, he does, he does, he does. But like, I have this problem literally in any media at this point in my life where if I see, sorry, I really should like paint more. <laughs> If I see a guy and a girl getting together, there is a literally 90% chance that at some point while watching their relationship, I, pr I will say she is too good for him. I will say that in absolutely any show because it's true all the time. Um, Emma Stone with Andrew Garfield. I'm sorry. Too good for you. Jess and Nick. I'm sorry. She's too good for you. Like... <laughs> especially like Katniss and Gail I'm sorry she's too good for you like I I have like a I don't know if it's a syndrome but like I <laughs> I will say that I think that she's too good for you and I don't think I'm wrong when I say that okay I think that I'm right when I say that um okay I'm just gonna push this shoe out I really am trying to get the shape of these like shoes right and this kind of looks like a clown shoe so i'm <laughs> i'm overthinking the shoes it's okay um and you know which crush too fauna true i usually say i can't tell who i'm more attracted to don't hate me but leslie is too good for ben i mean i love ben i do love ben but n honestly nobody is good enough for leslie just nobody leslie is like the light of life <laughs> I just, I always feel that way. Especially when I was watching the first Spider-Man, like the Toby Spider-Man. I was like, MJ is way too good for you, bro. <laughs> oh my God, that movie is something else. And I do kind of like, Anne. yes, Anne is perfect with Leslie. Um, I do kind of like the the Anne and um, Chris Treger pairing though at the end. Like I feel like that's good. I feel like that's a solid pairing. Um, oh my god, I need to paint. Okay, we did the dock. We have this couple together. Um, I'm gonna darken this. <laughs> I'm trying to find like the perfect shade of darkness where you can like just see this girl's hand. Um, and like, that's it. Like I just, I just barely want you to notice it. I think that's good. I feel like I'm looking at it a lot, but I don't think anybody else would look at it that much, you know? Um, what else do I want to add to this painting? Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry that I'm so vague all the time, guys. Um, but there's like some stuff in the front of this that I wanted to put in. Oh, I'm gonna do That's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna make it warmer. It needs to be in front of whatever I'm behind though, so that's the thing. Do this. What is this? Why is it here? I don't know what that is, but I'm saying goodbye to it. <laughs> Probably was drawing on the wrong layer. Um, in an alternate universe, it's Leslie, Ann, and Ben and Chris. Shivy really is apparently just sunshine on a rainy day. That's all Stream Elements has to say about Shivy. Um, Jack says that's true. But I like the pairings in the canon because Bensley is my beloved. I think it's cute. I love it. I think it's adorable. I like um Tom. I like all the pairings, like the Donna pairing, the Tom pairing, the Ben Leslie, the Chris Ian. Um, even Jerry gets a cute ending. It's so good. Um, I don't have any brain cells or knowledge to look that closely. I literally have no energy right now. You guys, that's why you're here. It's to chill. Mwah! I'm back. It's Murmur. Guys, Murmur is back. Everybody say hi, Murmur. Just kidding. You don't have to do anything. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to say hi, Murmur. Um, I love all the pairings too. Shivy, no! Ron and Diane, Jerry. Oh. <laughs> you mean Larry? Yeah. Um, who is Gorbler? Um, well, I didn't know what name to put, so I had them put all my names. So that's Gary, Larry, Jerry, <laughs> Gurkin. <laughs> that box. And then the first thing that Chris does, he's like, I'm going to put my tear into this box as our first memory. And Ron's like, That will warp the wood. Keep your tears in your eyes where they belong. <laughs> eh? 
Murmur, when did Shivy get mod? Uh, Shivy got mod as soon as as Murmur. Murmur, thank you for the ten. <laughs> Shivy got modded um like a little while ago. Shivy was like, "Hi, I want to be a mod," and I said, "You know what, Shivy? Are you a Zudara stan?" <laughs> and then Shivy said, "Yes." You mean Gary? I want a mod next, and I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Murmur, what are you doing? Murmur, thank you so much for the 40 bits. Hi. <laughs> Ron and Chris Loki have some sexual tension. <laughs> okay, I said it. Oh my god. Do they? <laughs> you know what, Shivy? Now that you mention it, I, I know, I see what you're talking about. <laughs> Never in my life have I thought that before, but I see it. Um, Murmur, thank you so much for the bits. I don't know, um, I don't know why. I don't know why you would ever do that when you already got me a sticker. <laughs> but thank you for the 40 bits. Welcome into this wonderful Sunday afternoon of a chill fauna stream where fauna is very relaxed and does not say chaotic things and is totally normal. And everyone thinks that fauna is normal. Mm hmm That's how you convince people that you're normal. Um, also, I'm looking at the clouds outside and all I see are Pokemon. So that, that must not be a good sign for my psyche, right? It must be bad. Um, I'm going to buy $20 worth of bits and give them to someone else, I hope. <laughs> like Tosh. Like Tosh. Um, you guys make me want to rewatch it. Cotton, I'm always rewatching it. I took the longest break I took from Parks and Rec was like maybe a year. And then I just started watching it again. Like, it's just one, it's such a comfort show. Like, I love the sh For me, I have, a, I have an issue with television and movies where it's like really dark and hard to watch because I'm just like emotionally very empathetic to things happening in the show. So if you're being really mean to the characters, <laughs> Murmur, thank you for the 100 bits. I um, If you're being mean to the characters, I get really sad. So I watch stuff like Parks and Rec because it makes me happy. Murmur, did I give them to someone else, Fauna? Murmur, <laughs> Murmur, I think you dropped a hundred bits. Um, you should pick them up and and give them to and actually give them to somebody else. Um, uh, my best friend pointed out to me I haven't been able to unsee it. I just watched the burger one with the Ron, so I get the tension thing should be Murmur. Murmur, thank you for the 100 bits again. What are you doing? Shivy's one of my favorite mods. Rewatch after watching The Good Place. True. True, true to both. I'm about $20 worth of bits. Good luck, Fauna. <laughs> she wishes. That's the same for me, actually. Did I? <laughs> Murmur, you're giving me big, um, did I do that vibes right now? <laughs> Do you guys even know what that is? Is that like a thing people know? I only know it because I was watching a show that made fun of it. Um, but I'm getting really big. Did I do that vibes right now? Murmur, thank you so much. You're so sweet. You did not have to do that. <laughs> That's why I rewatched New Girl, Parks, and The Good Place. Those are my comfort shows. I'm actually rewatching The Good Place and Parks right now but i'm giving new girl a rest because i don't know why new girl i can't watch as often i need to like take i need to like rewatch new girl and then take a break from new girl but good place and parks and rec can just always be on <laughs> even at luck can stress me out make me sad yeah i mean i know it's a kid's show but like there are episodes in there that are really emotionally like rough <laughs> murmur i cannot believe this i'm shook Murmur, thank you so much in total for like 240 bits. That's crazy. That's unhinged. I love that for you, but also unhinged. Um, I don't have a comfort show anymore. The ones that I have had... Blah, 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 blah. The ones that I have had don't age well. I know. How, how I Met Your Mother used to be one of mine. Because I absolutely loved Him Yim. And now Him Yim is like... <laughs> Murmur, what are you doing? <gasps> Thank you so much for 100 more bits. What? <gasps> Thank you. You guys, Murmur is Murmur needs financial help. <laughs> um, but yeah, how much your mother has not aged well, so I don't love watching it as much anymore. Just did that. I know it was a reference. <gasps> Shout out to Murmur. 100 only. <laughs> Murmur, 
Murmur is being unhinged. Um, him and friends office. Oh my god, I can't watch the office. I watched it once over COVID because everybody said it was really good and I regret watching it. I do not think if you haven't seen the office at this point in time, you should not watch the office anymore. Okay, it is past its prime. You are not gonna like it. Also, I have to blow my nose again. I'm sorry. If this only happens on stream. I swear to god, I don't blow my nose any other time of day. Okay, 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 Fauna is good. Fauna is, is living. <laughs> Parks over Office. I honestly watched Parks before I watched The Office, and that was like the right choice for me in my life, and I'm really glad I didn't watch The Office when everybody was raving about it, because I wouldn't have liked it. I wasn't emotionally like mature enough to appreciate anything that was going on. The office shines when it's not trying to be edgy, um, but it's really, really, really bad when it tries to be edgy. Did I scare Fauna away? <laughs> pan Pan, what is going on? You've already given me 30, 40 bits? What's happening? 50 bits? <laughs> pan, Pan Pan, Pan 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 Pan. Pan. What are you guys- I beat Tosh. Oh, Tosh is gonna be so sad. <laughs> Parks is way more consistent. Yeah, there's really nothing bad in Parks. Pan, pan. Not me sending my characters in Genshin to, for a quaint face because I'm having wishing withdrawal. I really only understood 10% of that, Shibi, but you do you. Pan, pan. Pan, pan. Pan, pan, hear nothing. You hear nothing? I hear something. <laughs> Burmer, do not give in to the behavior. Oh my god. I can't count this many. <laughs> I don't know how many this is, but I am just staring. I'm just high. <laughs> um. Um. Shivy's just saying holy. <laughs> you can't stop us. <laughs> I. I. Um. I. Um. Wow. Uh. <laughs> never. <laughs> Not the giggles emo. Um, I'm gonna attempt to count these. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, <laughs> twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Oh my god, that was twenty-nine just from Pan Pam. So that's two hundred and ninety bits. You guys are crazy. Hi, I hope you're having a nice day. Welcome in. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the bits, you guys. Um, hi. Oh yeah, and you know what? You're right. I'm not sitting correctly at all. I just put my leg up because I was leaning forward. So I'm like laying on my knee. <laughs> I will sit correctly, like a correct fauna. Um, I lost count somewhere. I might have overcounted one. <laughs> Sit up, Fauna. <laughs> Please save. Okay, the canvas is saved. I've saved the canvas. Um, hello guys. Sup in the his house. Hello, friends. Um I uh, hi. Hello. Thank you so much for all the bits. I've gotta go. I love you. Bye, Shivi. Have a fun time playing Genshin and doing whatever it is that you're doing that I didn't understand about the ascending because I've only ascended one person. Um, Pan Pan, what are you doing? <laughs> I took over murmurs first. I lost count somewhere. I feel you, Cotton. One, two, three, four, five, six, sixty bits. Pan Pan. <sighs> I will be lurking. Bye. Bye, Shivi. I have to study. Sure, sure. I'm gonna log on to Genshin right now and I'm gonna find Shivy. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much. Pan Pan is just like, hi, I'm here. <laughs> not the not the chat takeover, but I love it. Hello. Um, I love that Shivy said bye like five times. <laughs> it's a big mood. I'm actually a terrible, I'm a terrible lurker. Um 
I will say that I'm lurking and then I will not lurk for like 10 more minutes. And then they'll like try to still talk to me because I am a mess. Um, Fauna, give me your UID later. I'll add you in Genshin. I really always want to read that as UID. And <laughs> Those are not the same things. Um, I will do that. I will try to remember that. I, I'll probably post it again because I only I'm only friends with Shibby right now. <laughs> um Murmur and Pan Pan are coming in, wreaking havoc. It is completely unhinged. Oh, we're gonna do a things to be happy about. Yay, no one's redeemed that in a while. I think it's because everyone is saving because I've been threatening to do some big goals. Everybody in the Discord wants me to do a bongo cat emote, but it's just me bongoing. <laughs> I need to set that up actually. Not the emote, but the reward. <laughs> or not the reward, but the, the thing that you have to work on for the reward. Anyways, I'm gonna open this up. <laughs> I cannot believe it's still going off. You guys are crazy. I'm in a getaway car. Sorry, I thought one of these said getaway car, but it said Christmas Carol. Okay, page 48. Apricots to zucchini. That is literally the first line. Um, burgers on homemade dilly buns. Carved ivory spears. Paperback guidebooks. Curling up. Farm wives unbuttoning peas on the porch. These are weird, murmur. <laughs> Hard-working waiters. In summer, bayberry and eel grass brushed with sun. Forgetting to turn the oven on. That is not a thing to be happy about. That is a very annoying thing. <laughs> Angelica equals inspiration. Listening to your silent voice. Massed molten colors. Music by Bobby Short. Visiting the playgrounds that hold special meaning. Washing your hair in rainwater. A scrawny pup with a high frequency tail. <gasps> a sideboard set with cold meats and pies. Natural wired mus wild mustard. A slippery farmhouse pole. Snappy comebacks to shut up. A summer hamlet. A summer hamlet? Where cottages and picket fences crawl with wild roses. The certain way you smile at each other as soon as your eyes meet. Hot air balloons. I love hot air balloons. Living each day for itself. Designing a brochure. And then St. Louis, Missouri, gateway to the West. Half of these I literally didn't understand. <laughs> You're making a bongo emo. I make, they want me to make one of me bongoing. You know, that like gif that Tosh, Tosh made. <laughs> Who's crazy? You. You and Murmur. Wah. This is still my most used emo even before mine. You guys, all I am is depressed bird. Although I guess actually on here it's bongo. But I don't I don't chat a lot. I try to use other people's emotes when I'm in their chat, but then I forget and I use Bongo Cat a lot. But it's because Bongo Cat makes like a talking point. People see Bongo Cat and they're like, oh, are you a Pokemon fan? Are you going to pick Sprigatito? Are you going to pick Foy Coco? And it's just like, it's a whole thing. Okay, okay, I've got to go. Murmur. Oh my God. You guys, well, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Aw, bye friends. Sorry that I'm behind on chat and didn't read that till right now. <laughs> that will be perfect, Fauna. It's going to cost like a million channel points between all of you because... <laughs> There are some of you that I need to start bleeding dry for channel points. Y'all have too many. You're hoarding them. The fact that Jax could even redeem the ban thing today is crazy. And I was actually in one of one of Candy's streams and saw that the in-game ban was could be redeemed for 200 channel points. And I was like, wow. If only I could tell. <laughs> If only mine could be set that low without absolutely getting wrecked. Eventually it would just be like, Fauna, sit here silently. <laughs> that would be that would be all I would have left to do. Um, but I thought that was funny because that means that <laughs> no one is bullying Candy, which is good. That is a good news item. Also, I like can't breathe, so I don't know why. <laughs> I think I'm allergic to streaming <laughs> because I could breathe before I was here. Just saying. Um, okay, I'm gonna erase that part. 
I know that it doesn't make that much of a difference, but you're just gonna have to trust me. It had to be done. Okay, we're gonna finish this painting today if it's the last thing I do. Like, we are finishing this faux show. <laughs> We have to. We absolutely have to. Okay, I'm just going to erase some of the knee stuff and then I think it will look okay ish. Me, 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 me. Um, candy is the best. I. Candy's streams are so, like, wholesome. <laughs> and I just, like, sit here and I just start screaming. Um, okay. What's up? How are we doing? What's going on in here? It's not bad. The painting isn't bad, actually. I'm kind of vibing with it. It's not terrible. Sometimes I look at it and I'm like, wow, I hate this painting. <laughs> um, and I don't have an explanation, okay? That's just sometimes that's that just do be how you feel. Uh, but I feel okay right now. I'm gonna straighten out the roof and then put some of the tree back. It's great! Oh, cotton is too nice, you guys. <laughs> it's just, it's just me. I just get weird. I'm just, you know, sometimes you look at something for too long. It just, it, it just do be like that. Uh, I'm gonna work on this reflection a little bit. It's annoying because I technically already worked on the reflection, so the more I do, the less the reflection matches the original, but I just, I don't care. Uh, we are living our own free lives. The other thing I know, I, I know that I want to work on is the water, so we're probably gonna work on the water. Um... What am, what am I doing? I'm so distracted today. I hope you guys are having like a more relaxing day than me because I'm kind of all over the place. And I've been watching, just I've just been consuming many things from video games to shows to thinking about rewatching all of Star Wars because I have technically seen all of it. But I'm actually questioning whether or not I watched um, the sixth, star, the seventh Star Wars movie because I know I watched the last jedi and i watched the one after that but i don't know if i watched the force awakens and then somebody like quoted the force awakens to me and i didn't recognize the quote but that doesn't mean i didn't watch it because i thought that i watched the introduction of ray to the cast but i god i don't remember anything that happened so i guess it doesn't matter i would definitely have to watch it anyways um again so Fauna is just all sorts of tons of chaos. It just, it do be the vibes. Okay, that was my, that was my Star Wars tangent. Maybe we're a bad influence. <laughs> you mean on each other because now you're watching Alla in The Good Place and now I have to rewatch all of Star Wars and Spider-Man? It's fine. I think it works out. I just have too many things. But like I always, if I, here's the thing. If I had less things, like if I was just like, Oh, I don't have anything I, I'm going to consume. I would just find something else to consume. So it's not like my list can ever even hit zero. And then I would just like zen out peacefully. I would simply just like, that just would, that just doesn't happen. You know, like I just, I would just find something else. I also watched a video of someone recommending me a bunch of shows because um, it's the Friendly Space Ninja on YouTube in case any of you listening to that person. Um... But just did it. They just did a video on recommending like underrated TV shows, and now I feel like I need to watch like at least three of them. So <laughs> it just it is what it is. Um. Anyways, I said I was gonna work on the water, and that was five minutes ago. So we're gonna work on it now, and it's gonna look great. The water in the reference is very still, so I want to get that like still vibe in if that makes sense like i want you to be able to kind of see how still it is um, <laughs> which is possible like the way that the picture is kind of shows me how to do it um but it will be a little bit tricky but i'm gonna try to do it because i want you guys i want i really want to show like that it wasn't moving <laughs> um because usually it's just really bumpy so it's fun to have it be still 
and I just need to figure out how to paint that accurately because I've never I've never really gone super detailed. Most of my water has like a lot of waves. Um just because waves are fun to paint, honestly. I don't have I don't have any other like some deep reasoning for doing that. <laughs> what was on the list? My list? What's on my list right now? Um if that's the question, I'm gonna answer it. Like that's the question. Um it was all of all of all of the Spider-Man movies. It's playing oh yeah, I actually do have a list. Hang on. I'm gonna what's a good way to do this? I had a whole list of stuff I wanted to consume in April. <laughs> and I did a lot of it. But I also didn't do a lot of it. So I still wanted to do Spirit Fair, Bug Fables, The Witcher 3, Xenoblade DLC. I did get Kirby, so that does count. I did get that one done off the list. Uh, I wanted Ace Attorney, which I did get that. I wanted to replay Night in the Woods. I wanted to play Uncharted, The Last of Us. <laughs> um. Oh crap, I had other books I wanted to read. And then I wanted to watch Spy Family. I wanted to play Planet Zoo. I wanted to play Life is Strange. And then... Um, catches me out in her sleep and it gave me a pack. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry, I just showed you my list of games to finish and I thought it was on something else. I like freaked out. Um, why is my canvas upside down? Hi, honey. Meow. 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 I literally just said cat. I didn't even say her name. Hello. Hello, friend. I meant like the list for underrated movies or TV shows. Ow! Sorry, I'm like all over the place um one of them was called one of, the only show that i'd watched on the list was um the end of the fucking world which is a really weird british netflix show um about like two kids and it's got an insane premise it's just crazy but that was one of the shows on it and i've watched that and i really liked it um what else was on this list i'm gonna turn this down Someone probably in the comments made a list of all the shows, but maybe not. Um, one of them I think was just called You're the Worst. And that show looked really funny. Um, it looked like it was about a couple, basically two people who are like the worst people and then they end up going on a one night stand, but then it's actually, they, fall, they kind of like trying to make it work. Um, and so that seemed really funny and interesting. So he said it was such a hilarious show. Um, another one was called, oh, misfits maybe i need to figure out it's like people who are in like a jail or something and then a lightning bolt strikes them and they all get superpowers based on like who they were as a as a, as a like a person um and so that was very interesting oh god maybe maybe this is where they say the name <laughs> misfits yes it is misfits um mau mau <laughs> end of the effing world is the one where they run away right I saw the first season. Yeah, that's a superhero show. Have you watched those, Cotton? Because I'm really interested in them. Um, but yeah, End of the Having World is like the one where the guy is like kind of an actual psychopath and the girl is like crazy and then like <sighs> they like steal a dad's car. I've watched season two of The End of the Having World, but that's like the whole show is just two seasons. Um, and then Misfits was the next show that I was interested in. Um, the OA was on there, and I haven't watched the OA. Um, so was... Something else. Um, I can't, like, figure it out. I'll, like, give you guys a list if you're, like, interested. Another one was an anime show that was pretty short, which seemed interesting. And then another one <laughs> was, um, the last show that I wanted to watch, which, like, I also don't remember the name of, but apparently it was really good. Um, I think it was, like... Oh, God. Ugh. I can't, like, there's no, like, list of names because it's a YouTube video. And if I play it, I'll probably get copyrighted. But <laughs> those were the ones that stood out to me. Um, but they all looked good because one of the ones was an anime. And they said it was, like, the most creative anime that they'd seen ever. And I was like, well, that sounds very interesting. Um, he burns his hand or something. Yeah, I think that happens. The whole, if you're still talking about the end of the effing world, that show is just, like, it's so weird like you have to be prepared to watch like it's it's just like <laughs> it's emotional and relatable but at the same time it is it's it's so like out there and 
<laughs> like, unless you're, you know, like an actual psychopath or um, crazy person, you probably won't like deeply resonate, you know, with like the actual like archetypes of the main characters. But then as you like go on with them, they're very relatable and they have like emotional arcs and stuff. Like it's good. It's good. <laughs> I know I'm making it sound weird, but I promise it was fun to watch. Uh, also, I like didn't realize that this guy's legs were um, darker than the white shoes they were wearing. So I'm gonna like try to darken the legs right now um, in a color that is like only slightly lighter than the <laughs> than the shorts. I can do this. I know I can do it. It's hard putting like minute details in this painting because like you I you notice it but at the same time like it shouldn't stand out because it's just like the silhouette. So, it's kind of like a hard balance to walk, which is why I keep coming back to this silhouette. Because you shouldn't notice too much about it. But at the same time, like detail is there, so I don't want I don't want it to just be like one shade, like I want it I want it to be more accurate. Um he burns his Oh, <laughs> Jax, hi. Sup? Thanks for the hug. My cat's taking a bath next to me. Um, it's definitely mood. <laughs> okay. I did not work on the water. I did for like two minutes. I'm getting What is this layer? Oh, that's my cloud layer. I like don't work on these paintings usually off stream because like I hang out with you guys. And then I just sort of <laughs> sorry my cat's distracting me and then I kind of just sort of put it down for a while and I walk away and usually we raid someone's so line just watch the raid um post the stream um so I don't tend to work on these paintings a lot outside of outside of when we stream them except for I guess if I'm really excited about it I do um but I tend lately I've just been opening more whips which is why in the stream notification I was like Fauna has 10 open paintings. Will we finish one? Tune in to find out. <laughs> Fauna is cool. Aw, Jax, you're cool. You guys are all cool, actually. Thanks for hanging out with me. We've been live for an, or an hour and 40 minutes, which is like a long time. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna, I don't know what this layer is supposed to be doing, but I'm just gonna erase a lot of it. Also, it's like, I'm like wearing a sweater, but I think it's, it's like 76 degrees outside, so I'm hiding. And I turn the AC on, which I try not to do very often, but sometimes you have to. Like, sometimes it's just a day where you have to use AC. And for me, today is one of those days. But I'm also trying to adapt. Do you guys ever try to like adapt to your temperature? Because I do that a lot where I'll try to be like, oh, it's going to get hotter out. So I'm going to try to get used to how hot it's been. And like, like I wore a sweater the other day when it was like, um, when it was pretty warm out. And then I took a walk because I was trying to like adapt to it being warm. And it didn't really work. I kind of thought it would work. And, it, and it <laughs> mostly it just made me overheated for the walk. And then I tried to play frisbee during it, and then I was so hot playing frisbee. Um, but do you guys, do you guys play frisbee? Like, I, if you're if you're in the community of people who play ultimate frisbee, you might call it throwing. Do you ever just like throw? <laughs> I the, it's the only sport I've ever I've ever participated in myself. And can I say I did a good job? Not really, but I did it. <laughs> And I think that that should count for something because it was hard as, as heck and you have to run a lot and I'm bad at running. Um, Fauna, do you always finish your whips? I don't. I try really hard to because I, I really dislike having a lot of whips um, and then not finishing them for multiple reasons, but I just basically don't. When you have a whip, you just, like, don't get anything out of it, you know? Like, if you have a whip and you don't finish it, it's just kind of, like, a dead thing to you. Like, it just doesn't... 
it doesn't benefit you in any way is basically what I'm saying. So I don't like having them one because I feel like it was a waste of time if I don't finish it. Like if I finish something and I don't love it, um, but I tried, it's different than if I just look at something and I don't finish it. So I do try to finish all my whips, but that being said, I don't finish all of them. Um, and if I've, I, so what I have is I have a folder in my Procreate and I, usually I call it sketchbook, but right now it's just called stack and I'll leave any current whips that I have in here. So like this, I think will become something. I have no idea what. Um, so I have that, this, like, obviously I've shown you guys a lot of these, um, and they're all paintings that, like, I had an idea for and then, like, needed to sit on, and then I sort of come back and I, like, assess. So, like, this one, I'm just, like, how do I feel about it? Like, I try to feel, like, inspired a little bit from them, and if I don't feel inspired, I just won't paint it. Um... But like this is an excessive amount of whips. So I do think at the barest minimum, I will probably force myself to finish this one, um, this one, this one, uh, this one, and then the last three that I'm working on. I don't know if I'll finish this one. I don't know if I'll finish this one just because I've painted something very similar to this before. So I feel like it's not adding a lot and I've painted I just don't know where to go with this one. <laughs> and I want to paint this one, but I might paint a different scene from Arceus because at this point I have a completely different relationship to Arceus. So I might, I might paint a different one, but long story short, I try to paint all of them, but I won't force myself. Like I will not be like, you need to finish this whip. So then I like sit there and I paint it and it's terrible. Um, it's, it's more of a middle ground, but I try really hard to finish them all. <laughs> That's basically where I'm at. Um, Cotton says, I know it's impossible to complete all of them, but I really want to have a better ratio. Cotton, what do you have, like, yourself, do you think? Because I normally finish one out of every 15, I feel like. Right now I have the most open whips that I've had in a really long time. Um, and it's, I would actually delete them if I didn't think I was going to finish working on them. So I do tend to delete my whips because looking at them makes me feel bad. <laughs> but I think I'm probably pretty good. It might be lower, maybe I'm wrong, but I definitely finish like a majority of the ones that I start and I push to try to finish all of them unless I just truly am not. If it's not working, like I'm not gonna, if I'm miserable painting something, then there's no point and I won't, I won't push that. But Anything else, I might be like, come on, girly, let's go. I'm going to add more light to this stock. <laughs> I know I made a big deal about how, like, not noticeable it was before, but I feel like, I feel like it should be noticed. I want you all to see it. So that's my new, that's my new stance. Um, I'm also going to, like, you'd think that the shading was not very important, but it's all I can think of. Um, so I'm just going to shade this real quick. And then this just needs to be a straight line. And it's good. And we're good. Um, Cotton says, that sounds about right. Um, I usually finish them way later. So if you see me post something, it's it probably started it a few months ago. Yeah, that's another thing that I have been doing lately. But I've been trying to get better on it because I don't like having a bunch of open whips. So sometimes if I have a painting open, I won't start something new until I've worked on the one that I have open. But at the same time, if I feel inspired by something, I'm not just going to be like, well, you can't even think about painting that because you have an open whip. Like, I'm just going to do it. But, <laughs> you know, I try, I try to be good about it. I try not to like, because if I start five paintings, obviously I can't, I can't just work on five paintings. Like at that point, I've kind of screwed myself. I need to do this on a new layer. This was silly to think that I could do it not on a new layer. The issue that I have a lot as an artist is if I finish an art piece um, and I don't post it almost like right away, I will start to not like it and then I won't want to post it. So like, for example, um, the, uh, this painting that we did, this, this Dutch, 
like house place. I've literally not posted this and I, <laughs> I'm starting to think I'm never going to post it because I just, at this point, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, it's just been so long that I don't even feel that attachment to it. Like I have to post the painting when I feel the attachment. Um, wait, <laughs> what? Wait, Cotton said, uh, I don't know if it's the same for you, but I go through cycles with everything I make. So I fall in love with it and I hate it. And then one day I realize it's not that bad <laughs> and I will post it. Cotton and I are the same artist moon right now. Literally. <laughs> This is so relatable because I bet you guys in a couple of months I'm gonna look at this painting and I'm gonna be like this is cute and then I'm gonna post it um, And then it will probably bomb on Instagram because Instagram seems to know when I'm worried about a post and then makes that post do bad But I don't care about you anymore Instagram uh, <laughs> But yeah, I like will go through I definitely I'm the exact same way I go through phases like even this like I really like this painting that we finished before right now a lot and I promise you in three months, I'm going to look at it and be like, oh my God, <laughs> why did I ever paint this? And then I'm going to, I'm going to come back around a billion million percent. That's so relatable to me. <laughs> it just, it is what it is. Like, I don't know why, but like, I just have so many emotions attached to my art. And like you as the artist, remember a lot more about your art than I think you expect going in. Like personally, if you even with my photographs so like i have literally taken thousands and thousands of photographs in my life because i take i used to be a photographer way before i was a painter so i've taken a lot of pictures and i recognize every single picture that i've taken if you show me three pictures all of like very very similar things same subject i nine times out of ten i truly believe i'll or even ten times out of ten i will pick mine because i just I can tell what's mine, even if I haven't seen that photo in years. And it's just like, you have such a weird relationship to your art and to your paintings and you just can't control it. Like, you're just gonna love it. You're gonna hate it and you're gonna change your mind. And <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know. Being an artist is fucking weird, you guys. Um, but like, <laughs> Oh my god, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, but yeah, like I haven't posted that painting and I don't know when I will. <laughs> but it's so I delete my paintings usually once I'm done with them. Um, not like delete, <laughs> I don't delete all my finished pieces. I I usually upload them to my files and then I, I'm done with them. But uh, I don't do that until I've posted it to Instagram. Just that's like my workflow. And so that's why it's just sitting there because it's just waiting to be posted to Instagram. <laughs> um, why did I? I always push gradient map and I never mean to push gradient map, but I meant motion blur. I'm trying to like make these watery things look more. I don't even know how to describe it. Just like more loose, I guess. And like. I don't know i feel like i'm fighting the water but it is what it is it is what it is everything is fine and some of the paintings that i've painted on stream i like hate after stream like i haven't it has it's very rare because usually i work on stuff on stream that i like relatively feel comfortable in painting but like there are a couple paintings that i just like have not posted <laughs> and i will just never post but i don't delete them because i think it's really important if you're like the kind of person like me and you like deleting your stuff i think it's really important that you like save at least like a good amount of of, of things because you're gonna want to look back and like not only see your growth but you're also gonna want to look back and see everything that you actually were good at like you're <laughs> It's like you're obviously you're gonna look back in your old stuff and be like wow i can't believe i didn't do blah 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 but you're also gonna be like Ooh, look at look at baby me i literally actually saw um xxx and i like knew that i should shade that or something like it's cool to see what you'll see what you did know and and obviously like what you learned like it's just a very cool timeline thing so if, especially if you're doing digital stuff like i recommend saving as much stuff as you can stomach like throw away the littlest amount of stuff because you just will want it. <laughs> You're just going to want it at some point. I swear. Um, thank you for the hydrate con. Do you think Instagram is good for finding other artists? I 
don't know. I feel very... <laughs> Me and Instagram uh, have a very interesting relationship. Um, I love... I, I got started on Instagram. I was When I was like a photographer, I would like post stuff to Instagram and it would get tons of likes. And I thought like I was so cool. Like I would get like 60 likes. And someone who I followed, her name was like Shelby something, um, saw my artwork and like shouted me out because I was also like a follower of hers and was like, oh my God, you guys, you have to check out Fauna. The art is great. Here's a picture of Fauna's work. And like, she had like thousands of followers. So like uh, she brought a ton of people to me. And then I had like this really big following for a long time. And it was super cool. And like, I just always was on there and like, oh my God, the stuff that I used to post, you really could post anything on that freaking app and you would get traction. <laughs> That's besides the point. And also the stuff that I thought was good is hilarious. Um, this is a very roundabout way of answering the question. So I'm sorry. Um, but I had that happen to me and it was so cool. And like, I felt like I had like, I had real mo mo mutuals moots at like the age of 15. Like I was like meeting these people and like we would comment on each other's posts. Like we, I felt like we were friends and stuff. And like, that was like old Instagram, like literally like the first version of Instagram basically. Um, and I loved it. And I thought it was so awesome. And Instagram was like my favorite app. But I mean, obviously a lot more people eventually got on Instagram and it was still like the artist's place, but also like everybody had Instagram for everything, every brand. And like now with the way Instagram is and just the way social media in general is with the way, <laughs> just the way that it works, I, I have a hard time saying whether or not it's good because I feel like I don't get a lot of exposure. And um, especially right now, like unless I post a reel or something, so like I feel like it's hard. I feel like I feel like it's it's hard for any insta for any artist to find anyone anywhere at this point. Like I personally have uh, go on my explore page sometimes on Instagram and I find artists that I love and like I'll follow them and then they'll follow sometimes they follow me back because they like my stuff, but like obviously that's <laughs> whatever they want to do. But like if you don't take the time to do that, like I don't I don't know. And like a lot of the artists that I find, you know, they're gonna have like 20,000 followers already. So like who's finding the people like me who have like less than a thousand? It, it's hard to say, it's hard to say. I, I don't feel like I have very good growth and I don't know if that is my fault, the way social media works, if there's more that I should do, if they're like, you know, it's it's hard to say, but I, I feel like I've found more people on Twitch that I bring to Instagram at this point than I've ever found people on Instagram anymore. Like I just don't, even if I find someone on Instagram that I like, I very rarely like make a, a friend kind of thing. So uh, same says Cotton. I've had a love hate relationship with it. I was there at a wrong age and I feel like I can handle it better now. That's that is totally fair. It's really easy to have like a weird social media relationship. I feel like um, I get that what you're saying. Yeah, it's just like it's hard to know. Like there's so many rules of social media now. Like I started out on Instagram. I could post a picture of my freaking cat on my porch and tag it hashtag cat and hashtag, you know, New England. And I would get like 30 likes easy, absolutely easy. Like people would just sit around and they would surf hashtags that they liked and stuff. Like the internet was a different place. But now you have like this stuff and it's people already know so many people it's like you you very rare like you go on instagram for what five minutes a day probably i'm never on instagram um, <laughs> you know you know what i mean it's just i don't know i honestly use twitter more which is hilarious because twitter is like really not made for artists i feel like but it's where like a lot of my friends are. And so like I post stuff there and like people care that I post stuff there. Like I honestly get more stuff with Twitter right now, I feel like. And even then, like I'm not getting a lot of discoverability. I'm just like hanging out with people who are actually just spending time on Twitter. <laughs> it's just one of those things I have a hard time deciding. Cause it's just, it's hard to know, especially when like, you know, all these people, they come out with articles and they're like, you should post on Instagram between X and X hours on your social media timing. And then you need to use blah, blah, blah hashtags. And then you should blah, blah, blah this. And then like, <laughs> 
I don't know anymore. Like it's so hard to just keep up with it. And especially like a lot of artists have this feel where they just want to be artists. Like they want to show up and post to something that they made and then work all week and work on that thing. And like, that is just not how it works. Like you can't, <laughs> you can't really get a lot of discoverability at this point and do that kind of stuff. And I follow artists who have hundreds of thousands of followers and i have even seen them talk about how frustrating it is to try and post on instagram and get that traction like some of them have been like literally posting reels and just like trying to even reach their own followers like people have a lot of <laughs> people are having uh some issues uh so to say so like it's it's there's definitely a lot going on um by a while i mean seven years but it's okay <laughs> um it was uh i had something similar but it was affecting the perception of my own art so i had to stop for a while that is so like something that i feel like a lot of people could talk about more is like how your posting on social media affects your art like if you work on something and it's really good and it doesn't do well on social media where you can just think like oh my god that whole piece was terrible <laughs> and like that's just not how it works like you might have just posted at the wrong time people weren't online that day um literally anything like if you don't get enough traction in the first like 10 minutes of your instagram post instagram will just like kill that post if people don't like it when you first post it it's dead to instagram so it's really it's really hard to get over that so i get that too and then you have to be active or you'll they'll like screw your account over um Jack says 90% of my friends come from Twitter. Really? They're not like Twitch friends. They like come literally from Twitter. I have like honest, honest to God, like one friend that came from Twitter. I feel like all my friends and all my moods lately have really just come from Twitch. So <laughs> I'm really glad to have gone on Twitch because <laughs> that's, I've met so many amazing people. And then like the cool thing about it is if I miss their streams, I can follow them on Twitter. So like, G, I know it's streaming right now, but um, like G streams really late at night for me. So I can't watch G streams usually. And, but like we, you know, follow each other on Twitter and we hang out on like Discord and stuff. Like it's cool to find cool people via Twitch, but then like hang out with them somewhere else, which I feel like is a lot of how it works for me. Um, Twitch for sure. Yeah, right, Colin? Like I just, I have so many friends from it. Um, it's been two hours. I'm going to take a really quick break. Um, so you guys have, a, a, I'll be really quick. It's just going to take a quick break since we're at our two hour mark and then I will be right back.
Okay, friends. The Faunatin has arrived again. And I have water. And I went to meant to go to this screen. And hi, everyone. I feel very refreshed right now, even though all I did was honestly sit on my phone for five minutes and get water. But you know what? Water is a great thing to have. Um, I hope that you all had a nice little break. And I meant to, sorry, my shouting is irritating my cat. Um, I hope that if, 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 I don't hope that. I meant to say, if you haven't noticed, we have a new goal. I got rid of the old goal because one, it was not what I thought it was going to be. Two, Riverdale is apparently not over. <laughs> so for those like two reasons, I changed the goal. So we're going to do a group's drawing stream once we hit like 250 followers. Um, it will, we will definitely do some Magma Studio again and then after that if like i'll just sort of take it from there like if people want to keep drawing we'll keep drawing and then if people want to like go to games or something we can do games but it'll be more like a group day stream so we'll do that um when we hit 250 followers uh, i just wanted to point it out how am i third <laughs> welcome back Fonatin. thank you um tosh so um the peeps might have come in. The pan pan and the murmur peeps might have come in and, and gone a little insane. Um, <laughs> I was, I apologize for the sadness. Um, but thank you. Yeah, welcome back to everybody too. Um, Jack says for me, I found a lot of people from Twitch, but I literally, li 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 <laughs> I literally, I literally have an entire list with over a hundred people of cool artists that I found mostly from Twitter. That's so cool. I love that. That's the kind of shit that I live for. Like, I just want pure art stuff to be together. Um, I'm getting sirens. Hopefully they're not loud. Nope, they were a little loud. Okay. Um, 90% of my friends come from Twitter, Twitch for sure, and then Discord. I feel like I want, I need, I should be in more people's Discord. But I'm already in like 10, so it's like it just gets overwhelming. Um I was a medium person. <laughs> I think Eleanor was like a medium bad person, to be fair. Like I, I don't think she's like a, a dictator or whatever, like the the worst person. I don't think that she murdered people, but I don't think she was a good person. <laughs> um and hello, welcome in. Um Zalian robot? I think that's how I'm gonna pronounce that. Um, let me know if you'd like me to call you something else, uh, but welcome in. Um, I should live in a medium place, like Cincinnati. Everyone who wasn't a death row lawyer or a murderer should get to live in Cincinnati. Um, for anyone who doesn't watch A Good Place, that's not gonna make any sense, but... <laughs> <laughs> it is what Eleanor says. Um, I maxed out discords I can join. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, how many discords is that? Um, if you if you know, because I don't think I'm in danger of it. But I didn't know there was a limit. <laughs> it's gotta be like a hundred, right? Um, hello, welcome in, adept Sharon. Um, hi friends, how's it going? Happy, happy, uh, what, what is it, Sunday? I almost said Saturday. <laughs> happy Sunday. Um, I haven't watched The Good Place. Zalian Robot, it's so good. It's one of my all-time favorite shows. It's the hard recommend from me, Fauna. Um, which, by the way, hi, I'm Fauna. I paint, and then we play some games. We play Pokemon, we play Kirby. We mostly play Switch games. Um, I'm also a big fan of strategy games, so I really like Triangle Strategy, um, and Fire Emblem Three Houses, like other Fire Emblem games. Um, but we don't really play strategy games on stream, <laughs> because I have to think too much, and if I have to think, it's not, it's not what I should be doing. I, I don't think on stream. <laughs> I know you get more with Nitro. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, oh, it's a hundred. I'm addicted to the Discord links. I have what I call Discolic. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zalian Robot. I'm a discaholic. <laughs> it has a nice ring to it. I'm gonna give you that. It's so tempting. What are you supposed to do when everyone invites you to their Discord? Um, it's just, it is what it is. Um, Adept Sharon says, came across this channel the other day when I searched for Pokemon quiz on Twitch out of curiosity if anybody uses my quiz. 
Wait, are you the... Am I... Fr I'm. Hang on, maybe I'm tripping. Where's my browser? Hang on. Wait a minute. I... <laughs> Oh my god! I so- you're s hi! Oh my god! You're the creator! <laughs> you guys, Adept Sharon is the one who uh, literally, like, developed the Pokemon quiz that we've been playing. Um, hello! Welcome in! We have been playing it. We've been playing it every Tuesday, actually, um, Adept Sharon. So, hi. Um, so sorry I forgot your name. I only recognized you by Sharon. Um, we've been playing it every Tuesday, and it's been so much fun. I love playing Pokemon Quiz. It has been awesome. <laughs> I have loved it so much. It is such a fun thing. We play it together, and I've been trying to get better myself. I only usually get about 400. Um... But, but like my myself, but we played it together the last week and we got to like 800, so it was super fun. Um, Jack says 100 without Nitro and 200 with Nitro. <laughs> I have seen the autocorrect is against me. <laughs> Nitro will not help my addiction, poor alien robot. Um, Murmur is back, you guys, and Murmur is <laughs> going crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 90 bits! Thank you so much, Murmur! Hi! Welcome back! Um, Aaron Jang Fang fan, I see. Whoa, Pokemon Quizmaker. I know! Hi! I feel honored. Hello! <laughs> it's always great seeing people play it. I'm glad you all like it. Also, your art looks really good. <gasps> wow! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Thank you so much! Hi! I, I mean, I've already said hi. I'm just a little overwhelmed. Uh, ATM um <laughs> my back <laughs> so um yeah we love it we absolutely love it i was playing it every day for a really long time and then it got out of hand because i was spending two hours a day on a pokemon quiz so i had to stop um thank you so much i'm really glad you like my art you guys um uh adept sharon has a twitch account who sometimes it says it says i sometimes stream um but if you want to go check out the creator of the quiz that we've been playing please feel free um that's super cool yeah it's been it's so fun it works super well and i realize how many pokemon that i don't know exist in the Innova region because every time we play that it is the least known region and it's so weird because black and white are good games like they're not bad games i just don't remember anybody who exists except for the starters and i don't know like sigilith <laughs> we don't like it we love it i'm a bit of a vgc wannabe a debture and i've been trying to get into vgc and it's so confusing but i'm determined to win a match <laughs> Zalian robot says i only know pikachu and mew oh my god those are good ones to know i would add eevee to that list maybe charmander but <laughs> That is a good list, Salian Robot. Um, thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, Fauna is also starting her VGC journey. Yeah, I am. I totally am. <laughs> um, it's been fun. I'm not very good at it. I've been making my own teams, and then my team kind of sucked. Um, and then, But it was fun to make my own team, and now I've been trying to play. And I almost won a battle, but I didn't remember to Gigantamax, so I didn't win. Um... <laughs> But we're trying. We're going for it. I'm ready. Um, Murmur, by the way, thank you so much for all those bits. You're so sweet. Um, Murmur is so awesome. <laughs> I love me some Gen 5. Yes, Verizian. I, I learned that, like, for this quiz. <laughs> so many names I know how to spell now. Like, Oshawott. I can actually spell Oshawott. Um, yeah, VGC is a steep learning curve, and the regular gameplay does not prepare you at all. I was absolutely shocked to learn about stab attacks and i was also absolutely beside myself um realizing that you only put four of your pokemon out and then you pick them and that you have a team of six like oh my god i'm so overwhelmed <laughs> but i'm figuring it out cotton has been so sweet cotton is my is my buddy who has been helping me understand the game so that has been cool um and it's been really helpful because there is absolutely no way i would be playing it if if it wasn't for cotton um Zalian robot says i know nothing about pokemon do you play any video games Zalian robot because the first video game like i basically played was like mario and then it was pokemon um <laughs> my first ever game was heart gold 
Um, but it's totally cool to to not. I totally Pokemon is a lot to get into. I guess is what I'll say. It is. It's not nothing. <laughs> I think it's easy to like it is a kids game so obviously it's generally okay to get into but it still has like it's a lot there like if you want to get into minutia and stuff like it's all it's all there um what else uh blah 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 I know nothing about Pokemon Aaron is a defo wreck no one can teach you better I've been watching so many of those videos too uh it's not even funny <laughs> Also, I love the drawings. Alien Robot, thank you so much. I'm really glad you like it. Um, I've just been trying to work on some sunset stuff, so that's kind of where we're at. It, 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 I, it's inspired. I walked down to the docks a while ago, and I saw this um, happen. I, I was just sitting on the sunset, and I saw this couple. and So I'm painting the whole scene. It's been a whole thing, but I'm really glad you like it. Thank you so much. I'm a professional stick man artist. Totally a thing. I think, I mean, you should put that on a business card. I want your resume. I want to see your pro portfolio. Like, I'm down. That sounds amazing, Sailor <laughs> Robot. Um, a Death Sharon, welcome to the stream. We love the Pokemon quiz. I don't know how you could possibly make it, but it's so pog champ. <laughs> That is so true. Um, Adept Sharon says, Watching Aaron's Road to Rank Vids was crucial to me in early Sword Shield. Would definitely recommend. See, Vana? <laughs> Kyan has been, like, for like not forcing. Not forcing at all. But definitely, like, hard recommending it. Even though I've already been watching. Like, it's funny because I've literally already been watching them. But Cotton is like, Just see how cool Aaron is. <laughs> Cotton is a big Aaron fan. Um... I play video games, yes, but not Pokemon. Uh, Zalian, what are you into? What kind of games do you like? Do you play Switch games? Because I mostly know Switch games, but my community knows a lot of other games if you don't play Switch games. Um, the only non-Switch games I've played are like Tomb Raider and Borderlands and um, the Spider-Man game. <laughs> I didn't even play the Miles Morales one. I just played the, Sp the Spider-Man one. Um, Adept Sharon says it started off super simple, just inputs and the sprites appearing. I just wanted it for myself on PC. Eventually I put it online. I felt like I needed to make it look nicer a year of updates later. And here we are. Oh my God. Adept Sharon, that's so cool. I love that idea too. Like I've taken some beginner coding classes and I can totally see like doing the very, very basic input get sprite and that's like it. Like there is no way I, I mean, like I could do some HTML, CSS stuff, but like the Twitch integration. Oh my God. It's so cool. Uh, it's so cool. Um, I don't own a Switch, but I play strategy games and first person shooters games. Really, that's all I play. <gasps> Ooh, all my strategy games I've played on the Switch, um, which is mostly just triangle strategy and Fire Emblem games. But the Fire Emblem games were so good. Like, I've played back to, like, Awakening and all the other ones that were <laughs> around when the 3DS was out. What, what? Oh my god. My friends were really into it, so it was really fun to just be really nerdy. Um, like, I was constantly just being... <laughs> I was making like a chart for what Fire Emblem character was going to marry who and get what kid with what traits. Like I was off the deep end. Um, really, that's all I play. Well, that's cool. I love those kind of games. I'm terrible at first person shooters, though. Absolutely terrible at them. <laughs> I, I don't do well with any first person game, really. I need to be like away from my character for some reason. Um, but... I love that because I wish I was better at them. Because, like, so many people love playing them, you know? I just want to be a part of what everyone else is doing. <laughs> You're a certified cool person. Jax is, like, our certified um, resident, like, hyper-upper. <laughs> is, is that a term that people have? Um, okay, so these are the kind of, like, watermarks that you're supposed to have to make the water look still. I'm going to put, like a bit of a motion blur on them and then it kind of it, it kind of helps it make it look stillish you know i'm gonna smooth out the rest of the uh, water but then i think we'll be good actually i think i did the wrong <laughs> i might have done the wrong layer what if we motion blur this oh no i didn't do the wrong layer i just did it do it very very much I'm going to do it a little more aggressively because I can. 
I suck at strategy games, but I enjoy them. Yeah, I totally get that. I, I was really, I basically have turned the difficulty up to easy, or I guess down to easy, depending on how you're looking at it, for a lot of my strategy games. Um, but it's fine. It makes it fun. I also used to undo a lot in trying the strategy, at least, because I was always like, messing up, pushing the wrong button, hoping to RNG a move, and then realizing that my move with 80% accuracy for some reason still isn't gonna land a hit, uh, which is always so fun. Um, I love you for a nightmare to learn. Um, oh, I don't think I've played that. Sorry, English isn't my native tongue. No worries. I totally get it. Um, I think you're doing great. <laughs> It always astounds me when everybody comes in here and they know like other languages. I'm like, wow, that's so cool. Like, I'm just like shocked anybody's ever learned. Um, but yeah, we play the Pokemon quiz a lot and all those emotes are so cute <laughs> that Adept Sharon is using. Um, but I mean, that's what we, that's, that's what we've been doing every Tuesday. I don't do it more often because I know that not everybody plays Pokemon, but it's a very fun thing to do that I am randomly addicted to. Um, <laughs> um, so is the life, you know, you know, you know. Um, <laughs> just the three dot dot dots. I don't even know what that's about, Cotton. Do you want to fight? Um, adept to, oh my god, see, like that's so cute. Um, it's a nightmare of a game. It has so much stuff in it, says Alien Robot. Okay, wait, what is EU for? Where's my browser? Sorry, I don't know where any of my computer stuff is. EU4. <laughs> Europia Universalist? Oh, it looks really pretty. Um, I love pretty games. I'm such a sucker for a good looking game. <laughs> um, I think there's Steve's emotes. They're so cool. Yeah, I love them. Oh yeah, some of Steve's emotes are necessary for life. Not the Pokemon sip. That's so good. Um, do I need to sub to a new person just for the emotes? I might have to. I might have to. Um, okay, what am I doing? I need to fi <laughs> I need to figure out what layer this is on and fix it. So we're just gonna straighten this out because it is very crooked right now. <laughs> Knowing other languages couldn't be me. Cotton literally just comes in here and shows me up. It's fine, guys. It's fine. <laughs> English isn't my first language either. Wow, Jax, you're really good at English. I would have never guessed that it wasn't your first language. Um, Adept Sharon, I'm trying to be, says, I'm trying to become less dependent on others' emotes by making my own. I get you. I get ya. I totally get ya. Um, I love that one. <laughs> I wasn't making my own for a long time and then I was like I'm gonna do it and I just did it and then it was it's really it's really nice to have it's fun to have your own emotes you know um but CK3 is a fun game to play oh okay well that's that's good to know about oh my god that's a good one um with the oh my god is it is it land it's not landorin is it thunderous I'm really bad at telling them apart because I didn't play um, like I said, I suck at the in Innova ones, and so I, I know they're again in, in Arceus, but I caught them all in like one day, so I don't. The only one I can tell the difference of is like an Amorous. Um, Cotton says, I don't have them right now, but they're, but my fave is the entity that looks like it's judging you. <gasps> oh my god, look at that. Tornadus, thank you. It is, it is, I did, I don't think I said Tornadus, I think I said a different one. <laughs> see what i mean i'm like a, i'm like a fake fan sometimes but it's okay we're we're making our way downtown we're walking fast faces pass and we're homebound <laughs> that's actually an amazing entity that's hilarious my first language is actually spanish oh my god that's so cool zalian says we can struggle in english together yeah you're not alone you are definitely not the only person in here whose first language is english is not english um Okay, Fauna, focus. <laughs> I have painted probably like, I feel like 20 minutes this whole stream. Um, and it's not your guys' fault. If if you guys weren't here, I would also still not have painted, so. <laughs> um, Adev Sar Sar Sharon says, the forces of nature were so universally disliked and still are, I think, but I kind of love them. I get why the designs come off as ugly. I think they're meant to be, but I like their inspirations. I think it's a cool concept. I think what made me hate them 
<laughs> was um, the way that you in Arceus, so in the new game, what you have to do as like in order to catch Arceus is you have to catch without like any context in very specific weather times in specific locations that the game basically does not explain to you you have to go to these locations once you've gotten the quest and then you have to go in you have to stun either landerous tornadoes or thunderous and then you have to go in and you have to battle them and then you have to catch them and then you have to get them up to the level 10 research which is like not that hard but it's annoying and you have to do that for all three then you have to go back to the lady and then do it again with an amorous and so that was like made me very angry <laughs> because it was really really hard to stun them all and like i just thought i was done and then she was like you need to get to research level 10 so i have beef with them but that's why <laughs> um Adept Sharon says if you google region fujin you can see some traditional japanese art that looks similar to to tornado tornadoress to tornadoes and thunderous it's uncanny oh my god well i will have to check that out i just wrote that i just screenshotted it so i'll remember to look it up because i'm very i'm just like so into pokemon right now arceus has like revitalized my love of pokemon which is exactly what i was hoping for <laughs> Um, I'm very blessed because I know for some people it didn't. So I'm very, I'm very happy with, um, with Legends Arceus. Um, uh, my native language is Arabic. Wow. That seems like a really big jump from English to Arabic. <laughs> oh, we need bad pun. We can do that, Cotton. Um, Fauna, did you really not tell that English wasn't my first language? No, and I heard you streaming, Jax. You sounded... It was so, it was just very fluent. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I don't, I just wouldn't have assumed that, I guess. Um, it was very good. You very good English. Um, what goes, oh, I'm, <laughs> this is not a funny pun. It says, what goes up but never comes down, your age. Um, <laughs> this one is actually kind of funny, but it's also dumb. What do you call a donkey with earmuffs on? What do you call a donkey? that's wearing earmuffs anything you want because he can't hear you <laughs> it's so bad <laughs> i hope you liked your pun cotton um but it is bad so <laughs> it's not even really a pun it's just like a bad joke so i really hope that you are enjoying the terrible joke that i just read to you <laughs> um adept sharon says english is my third oh my god you guys are killing it i'm trying to learn like italian um, I know some Chinese, but I'm not fluent at all. So, what are the two other languages? <laughs> Slovenian and German. Oh my god, that's so cool. Technically, it's my fourth, but in reality, it's my second or third. Hmm. Um, you just gave me flashbacks about the donkey joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zalian. Not a pun, but it will be accepted. Thank you. Cotton as the redeemer gets to judge if it was if if the joke is accepted or not um i usually don't make my spanish super obvious interesting i know like <laughs> how to say hi i think in german and to say thank you and to say bless you um and that is it so <laughs> I know how to speak very little, but I would love, I, I think I would choose to learn Italian just because I took three years of Chinese and I really still don't know any Chinese. So like at that point, I would just like, I feel like I'm a lost cause. <laughs> I mean, I know that I'm not, but at the same time, like I just know it's going to be a whole endeavor for me to learn it fluently. So like, I don't, I feel like Italian's an easier first jump, I guess. Oh, I need to make this bluer. Um, and maybe like lighter. Okay, what am I missing? You made it when you know. <laughs> Daten Shunkser Allah Rug. Yep, that was my best attempt. <laughs> As a kid, a donkey bit me in the stomach and threw me in the air. Zalian, what? Um, what? It's actually a really funny story. It sounds terrifying. Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez! Oh my gosh! I oh my! I I can't even imagine. Um, I do have the Spanish reward in my stream though. Oh, that's cool, Jax. I love that. Are you sure "funny" is the right word? <laughs> that's 
that is what I am thinking, Adept Sharon. Um, like what? What? Um, that sounds like the stuff my nightmares are made of. Let me tell you, if that happened to me, you would not catch me around a farm. <laughs> Or I guess just around any donkey ever again in my life. Like you would not, you wouldn't catch me there. I would simply not be perceived there because I would be hiding. Um, that sounds terrible. <laughs> I know you're saying it's fine, but I feel like I should say that I'm sorry that you went through that because it sounds terrible. It sounds absolutely terrible. Um, okay. I need to just paint the tops of these. I'm putting like a tent in the back. Um, there was a tent in the reference, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, I feel like, I feel like it's a nice detail we could keep in, you know? And if it doesn't work, then I just will erase it. Um, <laughs> uh, I had it coming. <laughs> what did you do to this donkey as a child? Oh my gosh. Not me questioning the donkey. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. They're so annoying, but they're the only way I can keep my pre-rolls off, so. Um, okay, I'm gonna just get rid of this because this is not straight and <laughs> I don't know how I missed that I had that going. Um, let me just quick erase this. Okay, so now we have the docs. Um, the lines on the tent have a little bit of personality, so I'm just gonna put them in here. Um, okay, how does that look? That actually looks really off. <laughs> I'm just gonna fix that real quick. There we go. We got some lineage going on. Um, okay. Now... I need to shade them more gradually. So if I make this like slightly lighter. There we go. Okay, so, I mean, it's really purple. It's like a really bright purple. <laughs> Might be a little too saturated. It's funny how something so like unsaturated can look so oversaturated like so easily. Um. Because if you look at it, we're we're not even like halfway to saturated, but it looks so aggressive on here just because of the way that it... <laughs> I was about to say just because of the way that it looks, which reminds me of that joke where um, it's the same guy who plays Jake Peralta, but he walks up to a tree and he's like, this here is an Aspen. You can tell that it's an Aspen based on the way it is. <laughs> and it's so crazy. It's like... Oh, it's so funny like the way he says it is like this very loud like ranger voice and he's like there's two trees in aspen and he's just very like official about it so you think you're about to learn something and then he just says you can tell it's an aspen by the way it is <laughs> um okay i'm gonna push this in a little bit don't mind me which movie i don't even think it's a movie i actually think it's like a youtube joke it might be snl <laughs> i'm gonna look it up aspen because of the way it is nature walk episode one maybe it's not jake peralta i actually don't even think it's jake peralta it's literally just a, a random person that i've like decided was jake peralta um okay this is an aspen you can tell that it's an aspen tree is the way it is. Wow. <laughs> That's the whole thing. <laughs> he walks up to a tree. It's like, I don't even know what it's from. Um, it's literally, I mean, this is not the original because it only has 1,800 views, but it's from something. Um, if anybody knows and is smarter than me, please enlighten poor Cotton, who is just putting up with my tomfoolery. Um, but it says that it's like nature walk, so I don't know. I guess it's a show. I guess it's a show called Nature Walk. <laughs> um, hi, I'm back for a bit. What's up? Hello, Shivy. I'm dumb and know nothing. <laughs> Shivy, I don't think this is true. Mostly because we were talking about derivatives the other day and anyone who knows nothing does not know about how to take the derivative of a number and then can also say they dislike integrals because then you have to know 
how to do an integral to say that you dislike it. So I don't believe this um, this narrative that you are are done. <laughs> But hi, how is it going? Integrals are hard math. They are. They're such a pain in the butt. It's so rude. They taught me integrals at the end of my Calc 1 class. And I was like, wow, this is terrible. I hate this. And my teacher was like, by the way, um, this is like all of Calc 2. So I hope you're excited for Calc 2. And then I was like, I'm not going to take Calc 2. And then psych, I did take Calc, calc 2. <laughs> I don't know if that's really like a thing that you say psych to, but I did it. So what are you going to do about it now? Um, I should probably also sign this at some point. I just do like a big squiggly and I always like overthink it. Like I will re-sign and sign a painting for a really long time. And it is really not fun when I'm doing a, <laughs> a real life like acrylic painting because then you only get like the one shot, obviously. It's very, it's very stressful for, for little Fauna. But I do this every time. I just, it, not, it has to look right. I don't know what right is until I've done it. Um, I was a math lover and then <laughs> integrals came in. Linear algebra is killing me. I haven't done calc in two years. We're talking math again. Calculus should be illegal. Cotton. You don't love calculus? I thought we were math besties. Not anymore. <laughs> um, I did stats instead of AP Calc BC. Um, that's totally fair. I would do stats too. You're you're gonna be like really smart anyways when you get to college, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I love the power rule doing easy derivative, so satisfying. I know. It's like boom, just moved you, copied you, done. Derivative over. I love just looking at like x squared and being like huh i can take the derivative of that and they're like the what and i'm like it's 2x <laughs> and they're like what <laughs> um fauna you don't have a saved sign no i don't because i don't like it i did at one point for like two paintings and then i changed it so I, all of them are different uh <laughs> I'm very weird about it. Guys, should I eat cookies or Pringles? Oh my god, Jax, don't ask us such hard questions. Um, I think that you should go with whatever you want. <laughs> They're very different. They're like salty and sweet. And I think if you're craving something sweet, you should definitely have the cookies. But if you want a little salt, I mean, like you can go the chip route. The chocolate chip cookies probably have salt on them, so you'll get salt. But like sometimes I'm just not looking for something sweet. There is nothing more satisfying than solving a math problem. It is so satisfying, you guys. I'm um, sorry that I'm a math nerd, um, but I love math and I think that it's fun and cool. It makes me feel like a smart person. <laughs> Even if I will not use it outside of that class because it is advanced calculus and I am not an engineer, but I wish that I was an engineer. Wouldn't it be so cool if you could call me like engineer fauna? <laughs> Why not both? You're pulling a cheaty right now. <laughs> Shivi's been relating absolutely everything back to the good place, and I am living for it. <laughs> cheaty is helping Eleanor right now in heaven, I guess. <laughs> Cotton is um mid like beginning the the journey of that is the good place. I'm gonna try to play with the curves of my sky again. SOS, wish me luck, guys. Okay, I mean, like, that's cool, but it's too much, so. <gasps> Oops, um, we're gonna try, oh my god. I love just, like, messing with the curves just to see what it looks like. Um, because I'm kind of insane. It's very vibrant going on in the sky right now, and I just want to make sure I'm not overdoing it. It's very important to not look at your painting for too long, like I do, and then stare at it for three hours. Um, what was that? <laughs> was that me? Was that the sound of Fauna ignoring her own advice? I think it was. Um, I'm literally watching episode two right now. <laughs> yeah, so far into the journey. Wow, that was really green. Oh my God, don't make the weather that green. Okay, I'm gonna make this 
I don't know. I don't like that. <laughs> I want the darkness to get a little darker. And then I guess we can just pop everything. That looks okay, right? It, popping the curves is hard because you can overdo it. And then once you've overdone it, it's really, really hard to come back from. Which you'd think it wouldn't be since it was really easy to overdo it, but that's just the way it is for me. Um, I think, see, I think that's just too much. I'm gonna undo it. <laughs> also, I feel like this guy is just like a little bit too dark. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna lighten him a tad. I like that more. I know that you can't tell the difference, but I liked it more. Um, they're all wearing yellow and blue, but Eleanor didn't get one. That is one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Eleanor, everyone has that outfit except for you. Also, are you gonna, you should know that Ariana Grande music playing in the background, the giant giraffe, um, even though she called Tahani a giraffe, and uh, the sh flying shrampies. <laughs> The Michigan Colors is actually a reference to where one of the writers went to school, according to Mike Shure. Wait, what? That's a real reference, Shivy? Oh my god, you guys. Shivy is, like, way too hardcore into the good place. I will never match the energy, but I want to. Okay, so the problem with me doing this guy is that I do have a reference photo, but the sky looks very different from when I was there to the reference photo. So we're going to have to work with what we have, my friend, my fellow friends. Um, but we can do it. Also, I'm like, <laughs> I swear to God, I get like sick feelings, like, like weird runny nose kind of stuff when I'm on stream. And then I feel fine the rest of the day. So it's a conspiracy against my streaming career, but we are going to persevere. We're, we are, we are, we're survivors of the runny nose. Um, it's all references to the bad stuff she did the night before. That show saved my life, honestly. Shivy, I love that for you. It's so good. That is, um, kind of how I feel about Parks and Rec. I watched that show and I was very, very much so in a not amazing place. And that show was, like, always happy and always there. And I just wanted to be Leslie and April at the same time. <laughs> Um, I think there's a line where Donna talks to April and Leslie and is like, um, April, you are on the outside. Absolutely nobody can come on into you. And then, um, on the inside, you're a big teddy bear. And then she looks at like Leslie and says, Leslie, you're the exact opposite or something. And it's just so accurate. Um, I wish I was just being dramatic, but yeah, I, I love that. I'm like, so i'm really happy it's such a good show like it's so good you guys the good place is a really good show um i want all of my friends in the world to watch it but again i have an issue of coming on strong when i want my friends to watch shows so <laughs> unfortunately many of my friends have not watched the good place even though uh it's a hard recommend for me but it is what it is and i just i remember stumbling upon it one day and then being like Oh wow, this show is like the best show ever. That's cool. <laughs> um, okay, I just want the sky to feel very layered. So I think that my issue is that my clouds are still kind of not layered. So I'm gonna try to give them some depth, you know? Also, we probably won't stream super long today. So we'll probably end streaming like half hour or 15, whatever I feel like. <laughs> I could be lying and maybe we go for another hour. Uh, I really have no control over myself and my thoughts. <laughs> just kidding. I obviously, I, sh I should and I do. Um, but sometimes I just don't listen to myself. But that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, Christian Bale's Anna. How did nobody tell me this? In Frozen? You didn't know that? Oh my god. Cotton and I have had so many issues about who Christian Bale is and isn't. <laughs> Why do you guys think I like Frozen? Um, that song, Love is, Love is an Open Door, is literally so good. Love is an open door. With you. With you. With you. Love is an open door. Door. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? We finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was going to say. I'm sorry. I could do the whole song. I love that song. And I also love, um, for the first time in forever, I love Christian Bell. <laughs> 
Um, for two weeks, I thought Christian Bow was a Christian wig. It was, it was also partly my fault. So I'm sorry, Cotton. I'm literally sorry. It's very important to me. I love that part. Um, same, I do that. Get new friends. <laughs> Shivy, I did get new friends. You're one of the friends. So, so there, Shivs. I've been calling Shivy Shivs sometimes. Really with no reason. Um, okay, I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh my god look at me pretending i can shade clouds i can do it and we do it we'll find out i don't know i don't like it i'm taking it away sorry i'm sometimes the clouds make you feel a type of way i'm gonna look at the clouds outside and see if i can come to any um any revelations so the shadow on the clouds outside, the, it's dark on the, the bottom of the cloud and on like a lot of the sides of the clouds, which is not helping me. I have such a hard time with lighting in clouds. It's one of the things that I just never 100% nailed. Um, and I don't really know, I don't have like a reason. It's just, I find them difficult. <laughs> Um, I sang Love is an Open Door with a girl I liked at a birthday party recently. Shivy, is your life a movie musical? <laughs> My little gay disaster self did not handle that well. Anyways, <laughs> I'm honored to be one of said friends. I feel you, Shivy. It's so funny because I was talking about how much I love bridesmaids and nobody corrected me. It's because I'm silly, dumb, quirky, Cotton. I honestly had no idea that, I thought that maybe she was just in Bridesmaids because I literally have only watched Bridesmaids like this. And I was like, oh, there's a lot of girls in Bridesmaids. Maybe I just forgot. And if you Google Christian Bell Bridesmaids, um, Christian Wig pops up as the article, but they will pop up Bridesmaids as if, as if Christian Bell was in Bridesmaids. So it's, it's, it's total malarkey. It's total malarkey. Also, she's in um, Forgetting Sarah Marshall which I'm not used to seeing Eleanor, my, my, <laughs> I'm not used to seeing Christian Bell play a role where she is like a mean person, even though she does it very well. Um, also, I love the nickname Shivs. To be fair, all my friends are theater kids and we all love singing stuff. Oh my God, I love that. Um, I mean, getting a WWE match with Donkey wasn't the craziest thing that happened to me. <laughs> Um, that raises so many more questions somehow. So, like, I somehow have more. Honestly, I don't think that makes it better. <laughs> makes me more concerned about this story. Um, TKG Rainbow Dash. Hey, y'all. What's up? Welcome in. Hope you're having a nice Sunday. We are basically finished with this painting, but I'm kind of nitpicking it to death. As an artist does, you know, it is the way of the artist to look at your painting for so long that by the end of it, you're just like, I don't know, I guess it's good. <laughs> because you've just looked at it for so long that you can't even tell anymore. Um, but that is, that is what it is. It's what we're here for and everything is awesome. I don't know why I keep saying that. I think it's just because I have a urge to rewatch the Lego movie, but I'm trying to finish Stranger Things, so I cannot watch the Lego movie right now. Um, with no spoilers, has anybody watched any of Stranger Things? Does anyone have any non-spoilery uh, opinions? <laughs> I am only about... I think I watched the first three episodes now? They are really, really long. Um, if you are like a Stranger Things fan and you are like, I thought the episodes were like 30, 25 minutes. They are now an hour 20, basically. Um, so be emotionally, mentally prepared for the fact that the episodes are all long. I, there's only like seven, but they are all long. <laughs> like I, you know, sometimes like the finale and the beginning of a season are really long episodes and the rest is short. I kind of thought that that was what was going to happen. And then that is not what happened. So... If you need time to prepare for things like that, as I do, that's your warning. <laughs> I've only seen two seasons and I gave up on it. Zillion Robot, I don't, I don't blame you. I think that season one was so good. And then like, you know, you just have to either be like going along with the ride and liking it or like some people won't like it. And I totally, I think that's totally valid. Um, I 
if this ep if this season was longer, I don't know if I'd finish it. <laughs> I'm on episode one. What a violent start. Yeah, it doesn't get better, I feel like. I Like, it does, obviously, like, that scene is probably the worst that I've seen, but it, it <laughs> I don't want to say that it lets up. Like, you still are kind of hit with rough scenes, and I don't remember it being like that. Like, I know that it's, like, a show about monsters and stuff, but <laughs> I didn't remember it being so very, like, rough i guess is what i will say um tkg said i didn't even know there was a new season i literally found out because i was on netflix and then it was like advertising stranger things and i was like are you advertising stranger things for real like are you actually out because before it was just recommending stranger things and it hadn't even added a new season and i was like bro don't do that like <laughs> why are you recommending me to watch something i've already watched um, but then I was surprised when it was actually, um, a brand new season. So, yeah. Shivy says, I've never seen Stranger Things. Hmm. It is fun. I think it's fun. I will not say any more until I've watched all of season four because it might change my opinions. <laughs> but it, I, I really liked watching the other seasons, especially one. One is, like, so good. Um, after my friends told me what happened with Bob, I was like, no, I'm not watching it. That's fair. I think that's fair. Exactly. When did the show become so violent? I thought I was forgetting something, but probably not. Colin, thank you! Because I was, like, trying to sit around and be like, am I forgetting, um, the show? Because I was like, I swear to God, it was not this, like, the, sh <laughs> the new season of the show is very much so, like, um, I'm just gonna name things that happen. You basically watch someone break their own ankle. You see bodies where the bones and all of their faces are completely broken and you watch them basically get get break. Um, you watch um, very aggressive bullying in that show, like to the point where it was like almost cartoonish how intense it is. <laughs> like there's just like, I mean, there's like a, a scene where um, like tons of people are are murdered in a building um, there. And that I've only watched three episodes. <laughs> and I think I'm forgetting something else that I've probably blocked out already because it was like really hard to watch. But there is a lot of like rough stuff. And like, again, I know it's literally about monsters, but at the same time, like, you know, I just didn't remember that. So just, like, be prepared if that is not what you like watching in the TV show. Because, like, I thought maybe it would let up. And I feel like it hasn't yet. So, but I've, I've from people who have finished all of season four, they say that it gets better. <laughs> so I hope it does. What happened to be a cute kids show set in the 80s? Right, Cotton? I thought it was just, like, I thought maybe I was forgetting it. But I was like, this seems like a whole different show at this point. Um, but yeah, I had a crazy childhood. Also, sorry for the late replies. I'm at work. Salian, oh my god, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Thank you so much for just hanging out with us. Um, and like, do whatever you gotta do to <laughs> at work. No pressure here, ever. Um, I don't like the sound of that. I basically exclusively watch sitcoms for a reason. Same, Shibby. I have a hard time watching shows that aren't <laughs> happy, upbeat shows often, which is kind of no fun for me, because like, you know, it's not really my... <laughs> It's, it is my choice, but it's also not. Um, but yeah, I tend to... It takes a lot of energy for me to watch a show that's dark. Um, so, um, like, I'm trying to watch the show Dark, ironically, and I have to go through that pretty slow. I Like, if I watched Euphoria, for example, I know I'd have to watch, like... I'd have to take it in slow. I can't even watch The Vampire Diaries all the time because it's just so dramatic and, like, sad that I... <laughs> So I like having any issues with that. So like I'm very sensitive to TV. Um, I spent so much time on cards today. TKG, really? How did it go? Uh, I spent so much on cards today. So what do you, what you get? Any good finds, TKG? I'm like I'm interested. Um, Zalian Robot says then the bully becomes friends with the people he bullied. Oh my god, <laughs> isn't that such a weird arc? Um, Shivi says all I know is Nancy is gay. There are two people who like each other, but the girl is dating someone else and the teacher dude is calling them out for their feelings and Eleven likes waffles. Um, so I think what you meant to say is that Robin is gay because Nancy is not gay. <laughs> I think. I'm bad with names. Um, but I think that Robin is the gay one. I'm gonna Google it really quick. 
Yes, Robin is the one who is, yeah, sorry. I just wanted to be like, I was like, did I miss something? Is everybody in the show secretly gay? <laughs> I missed a crucial part of the show, um, but you have a lot of knowledge for not having watched it. That's me with Star Wars where I'm like, Obi-Wan Kenobi, save me. You're our only hope. And Luke and Leia kiss. And Darth Vader says, I'm Luke's father. And um, the stormtroopers are the bad guys. And CP3O exists. And there is another robot, R2D2. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Some of the older wizards of the Coast Black Star promos for Pokemon. TKG, what? I am not, I'll be honest, I'm not like a huge card person, but it sounds really cool. So I'm very excited for you if it, it sounds awesome. I I don't, <laughs> I had friends who played them when I was younger, but my I, I was like a girl raised, so my parents were like, you're not gonna play card games. So I never, I just kind of watched them play the games and I've never really gotten into the cards myself. Robin comes out to Steve in the bathroom? Yeah, shivy. Um, oh my god, look at this major hug. <laughs> Thank you for the hug, Jax. Um, but yeah, that's what happens in that show. And I think I was gonna say something else and I forgot it. So you know what? YOLO. Um, but it's really cute. That whole show where uh Robin comes out to Steve is really adorable. Um I mean, like, I guess with circumstances, you could argue it's less adorable, but I loved it. I thought it was so good. And it was so funny because men are just so dead sometimes. <laughs> oh my God. Him being told that she was gay, he was just like, well, you know, and he just like wouldn't shut up, you know, like a classic, <laughs> a classic sitcom-y move. Um, and I loved it. I thought it was so, I thought it was so entertaining. Steve is my favorite and I will not take any questions. Oh my God, there is a scene in Stranger Things 4 where Steve is talking and it's not a spoiler, um, but Steve is literally about to get in the car with them and he just starts, <laughs> he's just about, he's getting into the car with the kids, you know, like the Dustin and whatever. And he's like, always the babysitter. I'm always the goddamn babysitter. Cause he's always so angry that he's always like, watching them even though like he he just doesn't want to be like he's just always watching them. it was really funny um tkg says Jax has long arms you're right that was a big hug that just happened tkg <laughs> i was thinking maybe i should drink hot chocolate so it could be if it's cool enough for you to do that like temperature wise like you wouldn't overheat from drinking hot chocolate then i say go for it I kind of would think drinking hot chocolate right now for me would make me feel like so overheated. Um, but I have chocolate covered pretzels in the fridge, so I might eat some of those. I've also got my sandwich in the fridge that I didn't finish. So I actually should probably not eat pretzels and should eat my lunch. <laughs> like a big girl, like a full adult. Um, the way he just takes care of everyone, cotton. <laughs> That's just such a pure reason to love Steve. I really like Nancy. Um, and I like Eleven, obviously. Eleven is like, I don't, you know, I just, how can you not like Eleven? Um, <laughs> it's so hot here. I love chocolate covered pretzels. Shivy, Shivy, come to my house and get some chocolate covered pretzels. Everybody party at my house, chocolate covered pretzels. Um, you'll have to figure out where I live, but. <laughs> I mean, I can only be, I can only live in so many places, you know, you'll, you'll get it eventually. Um, it's somewhere in the country, so. <laughs> only Shivy gets the sun, the sunshine compliment. I know, Shivy is just blessed. <laughs> Shivy says, I got a new character in Genshin a bit ago, so I'm trying to build her, but I'm broke. Yes, I'm sunshine. I have a friend in the same state as you. Um, so Shivy... I don't understand anything about Genshin. <laughs> Why do you need money to build your character? What are you building? Please explain if you feel like it in very small, small brain terms. <laughs> um, why do you guys keep shouting me out? Jax, you deserve it. Why not? Also, Shivy and I are the worst. We will just shout everybody out constantly. Even if somebody is automatically getting a shout out in pan stream, Shivy will shout out again. So, <laughs> Shivy's 
just like living living life, you know? Um, the only character I don't like is Mike. Which one is Mike? I'm I'm very <laughs> I am very face blind. Um boop, boop, doo. Oh yeah, Mike is kind of being a blah blah blah. It's kind of a whole mood, you know? Um, easy enough to narrow it down. Thank you, TKT. I thought so. You'll just have to try every state, uh, and every time zone, and every country. <laughs> like, level up, level up their artifacts, weapons, and talents up costs more. Oh my god. Why does it cost so much to do that? Am I gonna regret spending all my money, Shivy? Is this gonna be a regret that I have in Genshin? Oh my god, I just threw my pencil on the ground. <laughs> yes we do i'll do it again i am overly supportive you guys are cooler though jax is so sweet um boring leader character yeah especially when it's like a i feel like they do it to dudes like they just give dudes like no personality um and also i don't feel like this is a spoiler either but i do not like the new character who is the girl who is the boyfriend of the cheerleader in season four of stranger things I think he sucks and I don't like following him around and I don't like his existence and <laughs> I simply wish to never perceive him but the show continues to let him exist so that is my piece on that um I'm overly supportive yeah you know what it's a shivy trait shivy just wants to support the buddies um not in early game at this point in the game don't worry about it i'm so much of a hoarder though shivy i need to be like told to spend my money every day and i need to figure out i want to like roll for another character but i don't know how that the game works <laughs> me trying to play genshin is just me pushing a lot of buttons and helping um who is cheerleader so there's a blonde cheerleader who if you haven't focused on her yet in episode one you will focus on her in episode two and she has a boyfriend and he sucks he's boo he's also the like basketball team captain i think uh if i'm being correct but he is no fun he is a boo person for me which like he's meant to be a boo person but like i just can't i just can't <laughs> You know what I mean? I can try to explain. I mean, Shivy, it's okay. As long as I'm doing the right stuff, I'm I'm okay. I just like, I'm I'm a hoarder. I'm the kind of person who ends Breath of the Wild with 300 apples. Did I need 300 apples? No, I should have used my fucking apples. But what did I do? I just kept them in my inventory. And apparently, hoarding bananas in Breath of the Wild makes it so that the Yiga clan will show up more often. Which is so annoying because if I had known that, I would have dropped my bananas like a hot, a hot, hot potato. <coughs> oh my god. Okay, hang on. Okay, Fauna is okay. Fauna is going to hydrate. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, Cotton. Hoarding is good. Thank you, TKG. I feel the same. I hoard everything. If the game can get me to use an item, it's a freaking miracle. <laughs> Even if I have like a hundred of something, I will go out and grind for the extra 10 things. And then I will use those 10 things and not use my original 100 that I have because I am certifiably crazy. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not that crazy. I know a lot of other people do it, but it doesn't feel normal when you're doing it, you know? Um, Have you done the character trials for Ayaka and Razor and the other characters on Ayaka's banner? No, I have done no trials. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Should I do a trial, Shivy? <laughs> Collecting materials in Genshin is good though. Fauna, are you good? Are you okay? Oh my god. Wow, I'm just reading now. Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just like started coughing and I. <laughs> Fauna is all good. Also, I thought we were going to work on another painting, 
but we kind of are done with stream almost and i've only done this so we're just gonna work on this today um but we'll probably work on the park one tomorrow or if i can get my umbrella stand idea to work Ooh, what what spoiler about my new painting <laughs> Then we'll work on that because I'm actually super excited to paint my new idea. It's not really an umbrella stand, but it has a, it has an umbrella. Um, if you guys don't like the idea, I would be shocked because it's adorable, <laughs> and I didn't come up with it. So that's why, like, I'm not just like I'm not just like hyping myself up, you know? Um, yeah, you can try them out to see if you like playing them. I know, but what if I get attached to them? What if I try out a character in Genshin that I like, and then I want them, and then I I have to give them back? I'm like terrified of that. Um, I can't. I can't live my life like that. What if someone gave me a hundred apple, infinite apples, and then took them away forever unless I paid them thirty dollars? <laughs> like that doesn't work for me. I don't know. I have a lot of feelings. Um, heck it. I'm getting chocolate milk. Oh my god, Jax and the chocolate milk is 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 truly a story that. Um, is repeated but always welcomed you know what i mean um ayaka is the one who does aisumis i do want aisumi girl in genshin <laughs> you have a ton of primos right now wait what was the idea um no cotton it's a spoiler so <laughs> it's a surprise i've never actually told you the idea um i feel like i'm i'm just like layering up this sky and we're not even getting anywhere i need to do like a like a bluer, a bluey blue into the sky, into the clouds. That's what we needed to do, you guys. I'm finally getting, I'm getting into the group. Um, sorry it took me so long. <laughs> You're likely to get all four stars. It's not hard to do. I want chocolate milk so bad. Shivy, oh my god. Hand shivy a chocolate, a mug of chocolate milk. <laughs> Same way for coffee milk slash chippy. Wait, there's coffee milk? Two things that I don't generally have include coffee and milk. <laughs> but I am, I'm intrigued to learn about this. Thank you for the chalky milk. You guys are so nice. Oh, right. I'm layering the clouds. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, I can do this. I can do this. We can do this. We are we are awesome artists. Um, oops, that was a mistake. I don't know. I kind of like it. I feel like I want to fiddle with it more, but I also feel like it's generally done. Like the concept is there. You've got the really still water. You've got the the night sky reflections. You've got the a faint silhouette of a couple sitting. And then you got like a stunning sky. That is really what I wanted to portray. And I didn't use my cloud brush at all, which I'm like really excited about because I normally, I normally end up using it and it makes all my skies kind of look the same sometimes. Um, I mean, it's not that bad, but it, it's noticeable. So I'm glad that I used the same brush this time to sort of even it out. Um, it looks so pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Cotton. Coffee? Oh my god, you guys, summon Tosh. <laughs> it's giving mine. Do you remember we were sitting there by the water, Shivy? I put my arm around you for the first time. Oh my god, it is giving mine. You made a rebel of a careless man's careful daughter. You are the best thing that's ever been mine. Oh my god. I love it. I feel like it's a little too loud for mine, but I, I see... Shivy and I are just like Swifties, so <laughs> it is what it is. It do be pretty. Thank you, Jax. Um, thank you, Shivy, for the shout out. I never left. Well, it's okay, Tosh. You get more. Um, do you remember <laughs> sitting by the water? That song is so good, you guys. I told you, I'm a mine. Oh, actually, I only told Shivy this. I'm sorry. Mine is one of my favorite Taylor songs. It's probably one of my favorites off Speak Now um it's just it's a superior song i'm i'm sorry but like it she tells this great story um she wrote it all by herself it's so good it's so romantic it's like <laughs> you made a rebel of a careless man's careful daughter i'm sorry could, who who of you could come up with a lyric that like that with the parallel and everything 
Because I couldn't. I've tried. <laughs> um, yes, Tashi is the best thing that's ever been mine. Which song is that? It's called, it's just called Mine. It's track one off of Speak Now. I promise you I listened to it a thousand times in like the month that it came out when I was younger. BRB. Yeah, of course, Jax, take your time. Um, it's fruity too. I edited mainly to mine actually. Wait, it's fruity? Um, uh oh. Uh, 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 Wait, how does it start? You are in college working part-time waiting tables. Left a small town, never looked back. I was a flight risk with a fear of falling. Wondering why we bother with love if it never lasts. Do you believe it when we're lying on the couch? Um, now I could see it. Yeah, I can see it now. Do you remember we were sitting there by the way? You put one around me for the first time. You made a rebel of a careless man's careful daughter. You are the best thing that's ever been mine. I guess it is. Oh man, Taylor has a lot of songs that don't ever that stay pretty gender neutral and it's I <clears throat> sorry, I tend not to notice. Oh my god, I'm gonna cough. Shibby says, Oh, the she is the best thing that's ever been mine. Yes, because Taylor does this thing where she talks from the man's perspective in her bridges, but really like it's just a way for her to sometimes a lot of people think it's just a way for her to think <laughs> um to, to like talk as if she is with the woman um it's a fruity metaphor for queer no okay cotton so taylor swift does this thing in her songs sorry for anyone who's not interested in this i'll be quick taylor swift does this thing in her songs where she will not a not reference the gender of the person in the song so she'll just be like yeah i was with you and like won't ever say i was with him um and then she also does this thing where she does bridges in the perspective of the man so like in the bridge um they get in a big fight of, in mine and she's like um and i ran out into the street and then i like, basically saying i didn't think you've come to me and then he said and then she's like and he said i or he, Taylor sings and like and then you said I remember how it felt sitting by the water I put your arm around you for the first time I made a rebel of a careless man's careful daughter so she's talking in the perspective of a guy generally is what it's supposed to be thought of but it's another way for Taylor to kind of like I think queer coding is the right word where she queer codes the song and so that you can think if you are thinking of a, of a man, you can just sort of like, you know, you can see from the perspective of a not straight relationship. So a lot of her songs work on a straight basis and in a non straight basis, if that makes sense. Um, hopefully I explained that well. <laughs> um, I know it's supposed to be someone saying it to her, but whatever, I will interpret it as queer. And I think that's the point. I think that she actually does that so that people are able to interpret her messages, her songs as like relating to them even if it's not like the exact perspective that she came up with. Like, I think it's the point and I really like it. I think it's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna just click, put some more color in here cause I'm crazy and I love color and hopefully it don't make it too overwhelming. Um, like in all her songs, in a lot of songs, like in a notable amount of songs. God. <laughs> oh my god hello fresh tulip art thank you so much for coming in hi welcome thank you for the follow um you're a 239th follower and we're only 11 followers away from our goal so that's super exciting um thank you so much for stopping in um like betty oh man me and betty me and betty betty is one of my favorite songs ever it might be like my number two or three favorite song taylor is perfect for bisexuals just saying <laughs> she does even wear like the bi flag colors in a lot in one of her costumes or something so like you know there's stuff there so fruity is when she does that in her songs basically because a lot of her friends are not fans interpret it as like gayler which is like gay taylor um <laughs> so it's a whole it's a whole thing but there's a lot of songs where taylor it's a country thing to sing the bridge in another person's perspective but it's also a thing that we've now interpreted of taylor to like basically speak with no gender and i'm trying to think of other songs like there are songs where she does reference he but like a lot of her songs don't just like initially reference a man so like taylor songs that don't reference man directly um 
Taylor songs that reference other songs. No, that's not what I want. Um, I definitely can't think of them all <laughs> off the top of my head while streaming, but there are a lot of songs that are pretty gender neutral um, that Taylor sings and people can interpret them however they want, which is really nice. But you tend to have to like, they tend, it's, it's normally in a way where it's presented kind of as you'd think it was straight, but if you weren't straight, you could totally see how it's not straight. You know, like it's kind of, it's a little bit coded in that way where it's not like outwardly, like, you know, if you listen to Girl in Red and she sings a song and she's like, they're so pretty in their button up shirts. I'm not talking about boys, I'm talking about girls. Like that kind of overtness is not in a Taylor song. Um, it's much more subtle, which like people talk about that too, but I don't, <laughs> I don't have a lot to say about that in that conversation right now um i can send you playlists welcome in new follower yeah welcome in <laughs> if you want to be i will literally like if i just like think about it while i'm not on stream i'll be able to do it but like i'm totally down with that too um you know whenever i rep those colors people just assume spider-man and i'm like yeah i do love spider-man <laughs> sure oh my god well i mean you 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 do love Spider- <laughs> I guess I've always just- I guess that's interesting because it's- it's a much more like pinkish hue. Like, are you just wearing red or do people just like not notice? Like, oh my god. <laughs> you belong with me. Oh, that song is so good. Um, it never says you is a guy. Don't blame me. New Year's Day. My friend and I made a, a, play a playlist of every Taylor song we personally interpret as queer. A lot of the ones that people interpret as queer are the ones that also people think are about like her relationships that may or may not have happened where she was with a woman. Um, <laughs> I'm like trying to think of some of them. Like obviously Dear John is supposed to be about a person named John, but like some of them are much less obviously. Oh my god, I wish I could think of like any off the top of my head because I listen to them all the time, but I can't. We didn't use songs that had he, him preferences or about a man explicitly. So like, dear John. <laughs> I love that comment. Wonderland, I'm too in love to think straight. Oh, Wonderland is totally one that has a lot of like, wow, I'm sorry. I said I would shut up about this, so I didn't. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> Wonderland is one that has a lot of connotation because one of the people who they think that taylor dated um was super in alice in wonderland so it has like an extra layer of like ooh, who is this about kind of thing people have a lot of speculations about a lot of stuff um it's fun it's fun to like watch and listen and i just i love i love people who are passionate about stuff so i just like listen to people and i talk and i watch and i get into a whole thing and it's fun Am I in the wrong layer? Yeah, I am. Besties. No one, no one heard me say besties. Just, that was a, that was a fake, fake bestie. Um, okay, what is Shibby saying? Um, I'm too in love to think straight. Spider-Man is a good way to put it. <laughs> right? I think that's great. Seven also with the line about hiding in the closet. Oh, I forgot about that because in that song, Taylor sings, um, about basically a kid hiding in a literal closet, but it obviously has connotations and references to other things. It's funky until people get way too invasive. Yes, totally agree. Some people are just, you know, cross lines. And I totally agree, Shibby. Like, I like thinking about it, but I would never like demand anything from her about her sexuality, which people want to do. And I would never like cross those lines, you know? Like, I just, it's fun because then you can interpret the songs differently about what they mean. So like, I like that, but I don't think <laughs> some people take it really, really far. In fact, some people get offended when you say that Taylor is, is bi or, or straight. Like they're like, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I don't want this discord on my page. And you're like, but all I said, discourse, not discord. <laughs> and you're like, but all I said was this. And they'll be like, I'm going to block you. Like they block people who don't think that Taylor's a lesbian. It's very, it's very unhinged. Some people are unhinged. Um, mud crab. Hello. Hello, mud crab. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm sorry that I'm delayed. Um, look at the art. Yeah. Thank you. This is the painting so far. I think we're basically done, but I keep shutting, not shutting up. So <laughs> but then I'm like, please stop. Yeah, exactly, Shibby. Welcome back, Mudcrab. Hi, Shibby. 
Um, she doesn't owe us that. Exactly. People don't owe us what their sexuality is. Like, ever. <laughs> like, really ever, honestly. I suppose there are times where you would expect it, but, like, people don't owe you what they are. Like, you know, it's not your business. Are you about to date them? No? Okay. <laughs> um... We can enjoy the songs and interpret them in ways that apply to us. Exactly. I totally... Oh, God, I just bit my tongue again. I totally agree. That hurt. I, I, I mean, I didn't really bite my tongue. I just touched the, the canker song. <laughs> um, yup, that too. The Hetlers. People are crazy. In every fandom, there's always, like, the crazies, you know? Just vibing in the music, unaware of subtext. That is the way to do it, TKG. I love doing that in so many areas of my life. It's just the vibes. <laughs> there are so many times where I've like bopped out to a song and then listened to it way later and been like, oh my God, I can't believe I was listening to a song about X thing. Like one time I literally, <laughs> like the song, the one that's coming to mind is Glad You Came by The Wanted. I didn't know that that was about something very, um physical i just thought that they were like glad that they came to the party um and like stuff like that like i never catch it i just i just don't think about like sometimes i listen to a song and i have no idea what it's about like bedrock i used to listen to bedrock for example and i had no idea what that was about so i i'm definitely a vibes person <laughs> meanwhile as an average in instrumental post-rock enjoyer i'm just here like subtext <laughs> Oh my god, I love that though for you. I'm just like a pop. I'm a pop baby. I Carly Rae Jepsen took my heart away when she released Call Me Maybe, and I don't think it's ever given it back. Um I honestly think Call Me Maybe was an iconic part of my life. Um I don't really have anything else to say other than, like, I truly believe that. Carly Rae Jepsen was just, like, woke up one day and was like, here you go. And then that song never left me. Um, okay, I feel like I'm just fiddling around at this point. Um, I think we are going to call it. I think that's it. I think that this is stream. We went for a little bit longer than I thought. Um, but three and a half hours is pretty good, is a pretty good time. Um looks great thank you so much adept sharon i'm really really glad you like it for anybody who um is interested we are doing a movie night tomorrow in the discord we're gonna watch andrew garfield's uh, amazing spidey 2 because i've never watched it it'll be the the only spider man movie left i haven't watched so we're watching that tomorrow at noon eastern i will stream again tuesday we're gonna do the pokemon quiz actually on tuesday um and then we'll play some arceus so if you guys like pokemon come on down for that stream i always let you guys know that we're doing the quiz that day and you can just come and watch and hang out you don't have to participate obviously um it's just a little more chaotic <laughs> and um and then saturday we'll do kirby again we'll art on sunday so that's kind of the schedule. Um, Cotton and Shivy, you guys are so sweet. Of course, of course, you're welcome for the stream. Um, yes, those are links to all my stuff. Tosh and the Bongo Cats, I love it. Um, I think I know who we're gonna raid, but I'm just gonna quick mute this and make sure I'm on the right track. Ooh, we got more Stardew going on. Okay, she's only been live two hours. I think that's good. I know it's boring, but we're probably going to read G again. Although Relativism is on, I've never actually watched Relativism. Um, but I love Stardew. I'm very conflicted right now. <laughs> um, yes, thank you so much, Cotton, for those raid commands. We are going to raid somebody. Um, we love Go. G. We love G. <laughs> I was like, who's Go? <laughs> Um, the homies love G, if I'm being honest. The homies absolutely love G. So apparently, oh my god, a subathon is going on? I totally can't believe people who do subathons because I could never. Your girl could actually, could actually never. Um, we're gonna raid G because I'm boring and basic and I show up all the time. So, uh, let's go raid <laughs> Tasha's like, let's go. I was like, are we talking about let's go, um, Pikachu? Let's go Eevee? Let's go Pokemon? Let's go? Raid. Raid, raid, raid. Um, but yeah, that's what's up with everybody. So thank you so much, everyone, for coming and hanging out. 
um, a special shout out again to Adept Sharon for making the Pokemon quiz that we have been playing. Um, so thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, I probably will post this painting next week, even though Instagram is going completely insane as an app right now. Um, <laughs> if you want to rant about that with me, I'm totally down. Um, but we're going to raid G. Thank you guys. The raid commands are up there from Cotton because Cotton's a homie. Um, and everybody, I will see you guys later. So bye friends. Have a great week.